Fush, 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 and hello, friends! Welcome! How did you like the, um, the new theme, if you hadn't seen it yet? Um, alright, alright, beautiful people. Quite a few things I wanna run by you before we get started tonight. Um, we are live for three and a half hours. Um, this'll be a regular, you know, Morgan Zainan plays Rebirth stream. Um, no guest star, no, no, no craziness, nothing. Uh, hopefully it won't be too boring. We'll actually get back to the story. Uh, we're gonna move forward with it. It's been a while, right? It's been a while. I feel like we've been in, in Gold Saucer for weeks now. Uh, not that it wasn't fun, it was great, but... Finally get to see more of the Rebirth main story tonight. Um, okay, so I don't think any of you guys were around, which is good. But on that, you know, waiting screen, I messed up. <laughs> And um, I had my mic on in the uh, little Final Fantasy theme. Um, Raiden! Welcome, brother! Are you kidding? You're like the least boring, you know, I, I'm sure so many of us wish you'd be more boring sometimes. I'm just kidding. I'm just I'm just playing. You know I love you, bro. Um, but I definitely wouldn't call you boring. Um, <laughs> so yeah, you might have heard uh, some stuff. I was just on that stream before, uh, actually, and I wanted to... Just like bring it up because they're amazing and I hadn't um, caught their stream until now. They're called the Flame Mates. Uh, there's two of them. And I just, you know, watched their stream while doing other stuff uh, for the last hour or so. And they are amazing amongst other things in terms of how much they know about. Um, let me just throw the link in chat here. How much they know about Seven Lore, and like they are Turks fan. They've they've they're super into Before Crisis, which I've rambled about a lot on this year's stream. So they know a bunch of shit. I learned so much, so much just watching them for an hour. So I'm really excited. And one of the things they mentioned is that they're thinking of doing. You know, there's been a few um, novels set in the Seven Universe. Depending on how you count, there's two or three of them. There are two that are absolutely canon and official. One a bit less so, although it was. It's actually written by a Westerner, I believe. And it was, this is all info I've, I've gathered, I did know there were novels, I think I've rambled about them, but everything's a lot clearer in my head now, thanks to uh, the Flame Mates uh, stream before. And yeah, anyway, the third one was written by a Westerner, I believe, I might be wrong on that, but in any case, um, it was published in one of the Ultimania, those big books that they released with tons of info in it. I've been rambling about those Ultimanias a lot. So, you know, make of that what you will. Is it canon, is it not, in any case, at least, you know, according to them, who seem to be really on top of the lore and everything, it makes sense that it be canon. It does not contradict anything. It adds a lot of, of uh, good things. Anyway, they've been talking about maybe doing like novel readings where they just stream while they read through the English translation of the novels. Uh, I'm super pumped about that. I'll definitely be watching them when they do it because uh, yeah, I can't, I can't for the life of me afford those novels right now. Uh, but of course, I want to hear all about it in my quest to understand everything about the Seven Lore. So yeah, that's uh, that's uh, one exciting thing. I actually learned a bunch of fun facts. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll uh, I'll try and remember if there's some downtime or you know whatever. If at some point during the stream, I'll just give you those at this point. And then there were a few things. Oh yeah, if you were here on Sunday when I streamed Ever Crisis, it was laggy as fuck. And uh, I mean, it's been whenever I streamed Ever Crisis, it's been laggy. But then with my trying out the new theme thing, it was even worse. And uh, big shout out to Lama, one of my fellow Knights of the Round, for help me, helping me fix it. Uh, the real trial by fire will be when I stream Ever Crisis again, but I do believe that the issue is now taken care of and my Ever Crisis streams will not suck quite as much. You'll still be stuck with me, but at least there won't be any lag. So, And I think the uh, mic issue is gone as well. I fucked around with a few things, but I think mostly it's just an hardware problem. But Hey Marm! Welcome! Were you were you tired of uh, of, <laughs> of not progressing for the story? Yes, finally! Finally we're here! We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. We're gonna finish this game eventually. It'll just take us a year, but that's alright, that's alright, we got time. Hopefully. Um, right, 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 there are a few things on my little... You know what, I wanna show you guys what it looks like. Because you can probably tell just the sort of person I am just by looking through this shit. Uh, those are my little notes I take when I'm with you guys. Um, and, you know, some of them, like, there's one that just reads Shinra Dude, and I have no idea why I wrote this down. I don't know what it is that I wanted to talk to you guys about, so it's either ch things, you know, I, I want to check off stream or stuff that I want to tell you guys about. I have no idea about that one. I have no idea. Um, 
so that's all right i just crossed it off the list and if it was important it'll come back but yeah there's a few things i've been talking about for a few streams now i still haven't gotten around to uh, researching i'm sorry about the old numura art of sephiroth and whether we can see that he's left-handed in these that was vito de memphis's um point that kind of ruins my whole theory um i i'm pretty sure he's right i just want to double check for myself i haven't done that yet and i i did want to check but this is og slash ever crisis stuff but whether you know like ojo knows cloud's name but he doesn't seem to be aware that he was in soldier which i find extremely interesting when they meet in costa del sol so my question is i'm gonna go with the og uh since it's essentially the same timeline right did you ever learn cloud's name when they met in shinra hq and if not there's something fishy going on there um, well, yeah, again, I haven't done that, so I don't know why I'm even bringing it up, but that's all right. Um, was there anything else? No, new setup. One thing you might have noticed, I know, I know you're just kidding, Marm. Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for saying it. Well, I know, I know. You know, and actually, it's kind of good that, or I guess, silver lining is that ZA's been gone for a while now, and actually, she hasn't missed anything really important on the Rebirth side just yet because of all the, you know, side quests and games and shit that we've been doing on stream. Uh, but she'll definitely miss a lot of what's going to happen tonight. But, you know, she can catch up later if she wants to. And if not, I'll give her a quick rundown of what happened in the story. But yeah, it did it did happen at the best possible time in terms of ZA not having to struggle through um, um, many games. <laughs> all right. Um... Yeah, I think we're about about set to begin. So again, we are going to be testing out the new theme thingy that I've got set up. I'm really excited about it, but it is Final Fantasy XIV themed. Uh, a lot of you guys gave me feedback on Sunday and said that it was alright to y'all. I think it is too, uh, but if any of you find it really, you know, bothering, like it really annoys you that there's all this fourteen art when we're playing seven games, let me know and uh, I don't know, I'll probably just ignore you, but I'm kidding. No, no I will take it into consideration. Um, Krieger's fine with it. He's my manager, so you know, if the manager gives us the okay, probably we can move forward and, and, and stick with it. Also, we need to check that it doesn't lag too much, but I think we're fine, even playing Weather of Crisis. But again, we'll see that when we stream Ever Crisis. Alright, alright, and there's, there's been a whole lot happening in the Ever Crisis world and in the Knights of the Round world, but, um, you know, there are Ever Crisis, Ever Crisis streams for that. Let's, uh, let's jump right into Rebirth. So, quick, quick rundown of where I'm at in the story. So I'm in the first visit to the Gold Saucer. Uh, just before that was Corel. We're still on the tail of the people I've been calling the Reunion people. You know, those hooded figures that, you know, fun fact, appear in um, in the ship in between Juna and Costa del Sol in Ever Crisis, but not in OG. And yet some people still say it's the same timeline. Uh, but yeah, they're all over in the R timeline. Uh, and we've been following them because Cloud has this weird belief that sort of comes out of nowhere. He has not justified it one single time. But Cloud is sure that if we follow them, we'll find Sephiroth. And to be fair, you know, we did like... I mean, sure, the theory makes sense. Anyway, they've headed to Gold Saucer, and so did we. But before that, we went through Coral, which is where Barret uh, is from. And it was this really hard to watch sequence about how everybody there hates him because of what happened years ago. Um, and that is that Shinra showed up and went to build a reactor in this coal city that, that Coral was. And Barret was very much pro Shinra, pro tech, and pushed for it to happen. And then, of course, Shinra being Shinra, it ended in tragedy, and no people blame Barret. So when we get to Gold Saucer, he kind of just like runs off. You know, he's he's super mad and and shaken by all that happened, um, understandably. And so we've just been fucking around, really, and doing mini games and shit. This is like Disneyland, and we've been enjoying it. And now, let's continue. All right, y'all, let's fucking go. Look at this transition, though. Uh, where is it? PS5. Ready? Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Boom. That is clean, right? Tell me that ain't clean. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, let's see what's up. Let's see what's up. I did get a lot of bonding time with Red. And you know the, um... <laughs> the way the dating system works in Rebirth is that um, when you use synergy skills, new synergy skills with, or synergy abilities, I always mix up the two, um, with a character for the first time, it raises your relationship with them or whatever. And I kind of wonder if we're gonna end up dating Red, because I think he's one of the one of the folks in the team that, that likes us best. So I don't know, look at this like blue smile. 
you know, fucking semicolon D, capital D type thing. That's alright, we love red, right? I did, you know, when we started, especially since considering how, um, shit, where was I supposed to go again? Oh, I forgot. Especially with how, oh, we're going to Skywheel. Alright then. With how much I am, you know, I have to worry about it so very much when we play OG of getting the uh, Barret dating sim. I don't want to, you know, I didn't want to have to worry about that in my first playthrough of Rebirth. So I said from the get go that we just, um. We've arrived at your destination. <laughs> Raiden, finally, fuck you, man. Uh, I see the strategic affiliate bar placement. Yeah, so you know, I've been running the stupid fucking empty purple box since I started just to hide the uh, remote play connected. Raiden um, has tried the same setup as I have, so he knows he knows what's beneath that shit. But yeah, we finally have something there. The funny thing is that I think... I don't believe it's working, because uh, I think with Kasumi yesterday that should have brought up to 42, if I'm not mistaken. Let me check real quick. Real, real quick. Let me check well Twitch. Um, so yeah, if we get a follow tonight, we'll see if it moves or not, and if not, I'll try and fix it. But yeah, we're supposed to be at 42, so there's something wrong with it. But hey, it looks a bit more professional than, than what was here before, right? So that's one of the new things. And yeah, also, we are getting super fucking close to affiliate, y'all. I'm extremely excited about that. Um, and thank, thanks to all of you who have been here, you know, um, for however long you've been around. It is, it is incredible to me. It is a huge milestone. I'll do something fun when I reach affiliate. Um, I set up a bunch of shit that I can't set up for now, obviously. But, you know, we'll do a special stream where I dress up as a pirate, just because. And, um, and yeah, yeah, we're getting close, and, and I'm super excited about that. And I'll shut up for cutscenes. Yeah, I'm at currently 42. I don't know, I don't know what's up with the, uh, the bar. I'll check it out after stream. It's alright. <laughs> We're not gonna make a free tonight, so it'll be good. Them. Or hot dying. Welcome to Couples Hour at Skywheel Square. What should be in there if they cuddle up with a partner in our cozy gondolas and see our golden paradise in a whole new light? Escape the crowds, share a private moment together, and experience dazzling sights and sounds. The memories you make here are sure to last a lifetime. Hmm. More of a couple's thing. Yeah, get the fuck out of here where you still can, Cloud. Wait, is this the date sim? Or is that is that later What's in the story? I, I don't know. It's later in OG. Oh Your my. attention, please! We are currently experiencing some minor technical difficulties. Good. All right. While our technicians are working hard to resolve this issue, for your safety, we ask that you follow all staff instructions. Over here, folks. Our friendly cast members will show cast you the members. way. Thank you so much for understanding and have a wonderful day. Claude, we've got trouble. We've got trouble. Kate Sith? Get to the Coliseum on the double. Why? Because between you and me, there's been a wee shooting in the lobby over there. And the word around the saucer is that a man with a gun for an arm was the perpetrator. What? Perpetrator? I'll round up your pals for you, alright? Now get going. There's not a moment to lose. Look at Kate Sif being all friendly. <laughs> a drunk stream? Uh, Raiden, you want you want Morgan Zane and drunk on stream? Uh, you know the right time for that is the uh, my late night Ever Crisis streams. Uh, <laughs> Sultan, welcome to Las Vegas. You know what? I'd say. 
how the fuck does the guide Moogle know that? Like the generic Gold Saucer AI knows that we're needed there. Did guide Sif tell them? Um, I'd say this is actually Disneyland and um, Wall Market gave me more of a Las Vegas vibe. Yes, we have reunited with the others. All right. Let's go Yeffy RF. No, Yeffy... Yeffy Tifa. I'm sorry, old quick bit of menuing, but it's been forever since, you know, I actually got to swap characters and shit. And we did do a lot of, um... Oh, but who's gonna be my healer? Should we go Barret, Yeffy? I'm sorry, Tifa. Oh, Barret's not around. There you go, Tifa, you're in. All right, all right, doll. Let's go. Um... Yeah, I've been doing a lot of uh, cloud and red stuff, so their material is all set up. Actually, it's... I don't really think we want Chakra just now. Um, and he has no assess on him, does he? That's what we want. There we go. Alright, Tifa, you'll be our healer tonight, Tifa, I'm sorry. Just do he's gonna go. There are still clouds material, that's alright. Cloud, let me give you something else. Try to be quick with the menuing. Sultan, I love to go to Walmart in the USA. You know, it's funny you say that because it is one of the things I hated most about my time in the US was the grocery shopping in those huge motherfucking... Do you even call them grocery stores? Like Walmart or whatever. It wasn't a Walmart in Princeton, I don't remember what it was, but in any case, like, it was very... It was a source of anxiety for me, honestly. Um, it's just so very different to what we're used to in Europe, right? And it's one of the times I felt the most out of place and, and like I didn't know how to act and I don't know, it was... It was scary. Yeah, alright, let's get healing to... or... no. Uh, let's put it on like MP up or some shit. Yuffie's got a steal, so we're set on that. Let's give Tifa Prayer. Yes, what is that? ATB Stagger, that's brilliant, but we'll put it on one of the unlinked slots. There we go. And here we can give you an MP up and then AP up on top of the MP up. How's that sound? Or HP up. Let's go with HP up. Sorry, Red. There we go, what else you got? ATB Stagger, that's brilliant. We do want you to have a healing materia. No, you do have one, wonderful. Uh, Revival's gonna go... Let's leave it on cloud, you know what, fuck that. And then, I never remember which of the... Um... Hi cat, thanks for, thanks for popping in, bro. And uh, yeah, and Sultan, don't get me wrong, like, you know, it's to reach their own and stuff, and I do believe that it's, um, I don't know, it makes a lot of sense that it doesn't, it didn't work for me, if that makes any sense, Walmarts, uh, because of a lot of my other, you know, like, beliefs and, and what do you call it, the conditioning that I, I gave my own brain and, and mind, if that makes any sense. I'm not, I'm not throwing shade at people that enjoy it. Um, it's definitely different, I'll say that, you know, if you're European and you're going to the US, make sure you shop, <laughs> your grocery shop at least once, because, whoa. That's, uh, that is, uh, what do you call it? Cultural clash right there. See, Raiden, Raiden, our local, uh, Brit. <laughs> Expat does not like going to Walmarts. How long have you lived there, Raiden? Is, has it been, has it been a long time, or, like, you know, have you spent more time in the UK or in the US? Um, fuck us, Morgan, alright. What do we... Oh, no, but there's no APs on these, but I like giving Tifa that so that I can cut the shit out of monsters as soon as they go into, you know what I'm saying, uh, stagger. Alright, HP never hurts, nor does MP since you are de facto healer. I'm sorry about that, Tifa, you know, you know, you know what I think of you, love. Yeah, no, Klaus got you covered with that, so let me give you... Hey, Tom! Welcome friends, holy shit, there's so many of you guys, this is amazing. Uh, Raiden, eight or nine years, but you've spent more time in England then. You didn't leave England till you were like 22, and this right there, folks, if you're good at math, you can work out Raiden's age, but I won't help you out with that, because that would be snooping. Uh, but we're, we're about, we're about of the same age, that's not focusing, you're right, Tom, I'm sorry, focus! 
Um, what do we give her? I'm, you know, I'm still torn. Like, I don't have a lot of materia, so I kind of just want to AP up those that I feel might be useful for the uh, for my hard play playthrough. And then I don't know. And the thing with the, you know, MP3, um, actually, it's Yafi. She can do every element. She doesn't need elemental materia. We could give her, I guess, leveling up barrier is a good idea. What else do we want um, AP on? Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Let's give her that. And then, and then. I don't have time material yet, do I? No, that's a shame. Hey Krieger, no worries at all, man. Thanks for uh, thanks for uh, popping in anyway, and I'll see you in just a few days, my brother. I can't wait. I can't wait. I love you, Krieger. I love you, bro. Have a great evening, whatever it is that you need to do. I hope it's not work. Uh, and if it is, have a great evening nonetheless. And say hi to your family for me. Uh, All right, buffs and debuffs. Let's just fucking go. Don't want me to fuck us, so we're gonna fuck us. All right, I think we're good. The manager's here and he gonna be lurking. Thank you, thank you for lurking, Krieger. It, it really does mean a lot. You guys are the best. Have a great evening, bro. Uh, um, yo, while I'm just running around being OCD about exploring everything, um, Tom, Raiden, Raiden made us uh, Knights of the Round uh, Discord. I don't know if you like Discord or if you use it at all, at all, but if so, I'll whisper you the link. And even if you don't, could you give us your thumbs up on, you know, I'm trying to come up with a roster of Knights of the Round members. Uh, so if you are down, like if you can just confirm that you want to do that with us when the guild system comes around on Ever Crisis, I can, I can give you a little check mark to make sure that you're one of us. And of course, if you don't want to, um, what do you call it? Um, commit right now, that's totally fine. But if you're cool, depends who is going to entertain you. All of us, brother, we're a team. There'll be a lot of uh, Ricky, Cat, and me streaming, um, and some sorry, of the others sir, too. But only but personnel are allowed past here. Krieger, you're on duty. Oh shit, man, I'm sorry. I was hoping it was something nice, like hanging out with friends or something. Well, good luck with work then. You know, keep fighting the good fight, Krieger. Yeah, Tom, all of us, all of us. There'll be a lot of uh, a lot of um, Ricky Cat and uh, and Morgan streaming, as has been the case. Any of you guys who also want to stream, of course, uh, we're gonna hunt down the other Ever Crisis. Hunt down sounds very <laughs> Turk, uh, but you know, like ask everyone uh, here on the little Twitch community we've got to make sure that well, a if they want to get on the um, the Discord that they do. And uh, they're okay with us uh, counting them as full members. I don't know if you saw Tom, but it's actually going to be 30 maximum guild members and not 100. And just from the quick little, um, you know, tentative roster that I've that I've drawn up, we're getting quite close to to the 30. So I am a bored dude, but I think I could give you power since Ricky isn't going to pull. I don't know. You know what? You know what? Sorry, y'all. Ever crisis again, but. I'm a tiny bit disappointed that the crossover is with Monster Hunter, I must say, and I was probably gonna pull, like, if you, you know, you might have heard me say on stream when I'm streaming Ever Crisis that I was just waiting for the next crossover or limited to pull like crazy, um, but I do like the Aerith outfit, I'm gonna wait for stats and shit and see see what I do, but yeah, I, um, well, y'all know me, I'm a Final Fantasy nerd and it's not that I don't like crossovers, plus the way they've been happening with Ever Crisis is that I know they're not gonna make a mess of it with Monster Hunter somehow becoming canon to 7, which I would hate, but they're not going to do that. They didn't even really do it with 9, it's just going to be cute little references and, and cosplay for tunes, which I guess is alright. But still, you know, my uh, I guess it's one of the rare things in life where I'm a bit of a um, uh, conservative, <laughs> is I feel like the Final Fantasy franchise is so fucking wide you know, we're not even at one year of, of the game existing. Why do you gotta go and, and cross over with all the franchise? And I know the answer is money, Morgan. Like, we want to bring in Monster Hunter players to have a crisis. And then in the long run, that's a, that's a net positive for all of us. But you know what I'm saying, though? I want more cross Final Fantasy cosplays before I get those Monster Hunter cosplays. But anyway, we only know two of them so far. Uh, no, Raiden. 
you're literally the one who who gave me the info but we know that there's the kitesef one there's a kitesef outfit the tifa outfit the rf outfit Am I forgetting someone? I feel like I'm forgetting someone, but that's at least free just from the Monster Hunter. Oh, or were the um, the pictures not all from the collab event? Maybe I'm I'm wrong about that. Sultan, would you like it if there was a crossover between Magic the Gathering and Final Fantasy? My honest answer, uh, Sultan, would be no, but for very selfish, for all the wrong reasons, is that I'm broke as fuck and there's so much stuff that I want to spend money on to make my streams better and, and for my Final Fantasy addiction. And I know that this would be a huge money sink that I could not spend a single cent on, and I'd be like, Ugh. you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm missing out on some Final Fantasy nerd shit. There actually is a Final Fantasy trading card game, TCG, uh, and I don't own a single one of them. Can you believe that? So, yeah, no. No, please. No, no magic uh, X Final Fantasy crossover. You know what would really rile me up, though? And again, this goes against a lot of my personal beliefs, but you guys have seen that when it comes to Final Fantasy, you know. The lines of my very hard, I'm a leftist and, and there should be no plastic, <laughs> uh, tends to get a, a lot blurry when it comes to Final Fantasy. But yeah, I'd love a fucking Lego Final Fantasy crossover. I would, I would, I don't even know, but I would get, I would gather the money and get that shit so hard. I want, I want my little Final Fantasy Legos to decorate this room and just like, you know. That's the crossover I dream of. If it has to be like a capitalistic fucking need to buy new stuff that has been produced um, and shit crossover that's the one i want um tom who gets the wrong weapons in the name of the game zach power creeping cloud yeah raiden you must be mad about that with your stupid murasame that you keep bragging about see that skarma right there bro um we don't know what two of them do like tom said yeah 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 yeah. sorry i i, I get what you guys are saying my bad i was just thinking outfits right now because i'm a princess and i like outfits all right uh i've not even dived into what we know about the stats and shit Tom, what Final Fantasy needs is less shit events and dumb bullshit. Yeah, you know, I've been somewhat vocal um, in my what I think about the writing in the events in Ever Crisis. Although you'll know that I am a total fanboy of that game and I love it to bits and I want it to succeed and, and I don't like saying negative things about it. But I do, you know, when we have the uh, story quest events that are so beautifully written, when we have the um, first soldier... Um, fucking hell, man, you know, like, fucking S plus rank writing, why is it that the events are so fucking, you know what I'm saying? And, um, and again, not to throw shade at the actual folks working on that, and I'm guessing that's the directions they get, and I do kind of, you know, like, I don't know, this is just my theory, it might not be what's happening behind the, the curtain, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was something like, you know, Nomura-san wants to have a say uh, not necessarily Nomura-san himself, but, you know, like, the, the, the gang wants to have a say when it actually impacts the canon and stuff. And they can't possibly, they don't have the time to check every single event, so the event writers have to do with doing stuff that does not change the canon in any way. But still, you know, I think that's a shame. I think it would be worth spending the time and effort and give us actual events that matter, that give us clues into the whole lore, um, etc. But then again, you all know me, I'm a lore fiend. Well, yeah, I did like, all right, I will say the Knights of Judgment events, uh, in my opinion, was the best one so far in terms of story, because it did wrap up a lot of uh, the original First Soldier into what's happening. We, you know, there's also strong hints about Glenn and just how important he is or is going to be to the entire compilation from now on. And I am excited about that. I thought that was done well. And, you know, as someone who has never played um, the First Soldier Battle Royale, and you'll know me as someone who freaks out a little bit when he misses out on a Final Fantasy game or tangentially Final Fantasy related game. I'm very glad and that absolutely gave me the fulfillment I needed of, all right, anything you know about First Soldier, it's in uh, it's in Ever Crisis now. You know, you can just put that to rest forever. I love that about it. I love that about it. Uh, Tom, most of the outfits are not worth it if you have an outfit already. Yeah, and that's the thing is that I, I'm... I think I'm definitely not pulling on the Tifa outfit because fuck Monster Hunter uh, and I've got plenty of great outfits for her but the um, but yeah I do so you know so far the only actual banner outfits I have are for Tifa and Aerith I've got two for each of them I've got one I've got two for Red I've got one for Cloud and that's it that's literally it and with the uh, high wind thingy, where we want to have as many outfits as possible, as quick as possible, 
I and also I've reached a point in the game where I'm not just always running my A team, right? Sometimes I I use other characters because situationally it makes more sense, and I feel like it's probably time for me to start getting outfits for other characters, even if I don't use them as much. Uh, just to get the high win rolling, and so that when I do need to bring them in for one specific piece of content, they have a nice outfit. So I might pull on stuff um, just to get, I don't know, I don't know, man, I don't know. I'll see, I'll see, but it's a lot, you know, if, if it had been like Final Fantasy 16 crossover, like some people, I don't know if you'll remember, but I always said I did not believe that would be the case, but any other Final Fantasy crossover, I would have pulled the, the shit out, just gotten all the outfits, now that I know that we know it's Monster Hunter, I'm not quite sure. I'm, I might keep on holding, actually. If it's not that great as far as limited weapons go, I might just keep on holding everything. I don't know, man. We'll see. We'll see. Um, Raiden, if an OB-10 weapon with correct outfit isn't enough to beat future content, then I ain't, I ain't touching it. Nomura was on live stream. He was the one saying he was looking at New Year's event already. Um... Yeah, and don't get me wrong, like, Nomura-san is absolutely very, very involved with Ever Crisis. Um, uh, I'm not saying that, you know, he's letting a playbot run the ship or whatever, that's not what I meant. He he is very involved. He uh, There's actually a really exciting, I don't know if you guys saw that, but he made a comment uh, on that stream about how... Um, fuck, I should have noted this down, this was really insightful and interesting. Um... Was it about Yung Genji? No, about the Masamune. So we know that we're going to get the origin story for Sephiroth's Masamune in the... Uh, you know what? Since we're not focusing, let me just... Let's just take five, y'all, if you don't mind. I lied! We're never leaving the Gold Saucer in Rebirth. Um, yeah, we know it was announced that we're going to get the backstory on how Sephiroth got, a, got his hands on the Masamune in the second chapter of First Soldier in Ever Crisis. And Nomura said that essentially, you know, they've known... Um, on the inside for a very long time, this whole story, and they've been meaning to put it out there in some fashion or other, and that he's really excited about it, it finally happening with First Soldier. Which, you know, goes to show that Nomura absolutely is 100% hands-on with First Soldier, which, you know, has a... I like him a lot. I know some people have mixed opinions about nomura San specifically, but I'm all for Nomura going crazy with us. Um, yeah, I'm, I like that. I love that. I love that. And I feel you can... You can feel his touch in First Soldier, uh, honestly, is my, my personal opinion. But anyway, yeah. Um, they need to do a full First Soldier standalone t to fill out more of Ever Crisis. I don't know. I don't know, Tom, because like, I like that it is an Ever Crisis exclusive, actually. Uh, and, you know, they still have a lot of backlog to work on. I will. I know So some of my fellow Before Crisis enthusiasts. Um, I was just talking about the uh, Flame Mates earlier, who stream a lot of lore related Final Fantasy 7 stuff um, we're a bit disappointed we were kind of hoping for the uh, the announcement that it was going to drop next it's coming we know it's coming at some point and shit but you know what I'm saying is that they have a lot of Final Fantasy 7 canon to work on and they did say that they wanted ev everything to eventually make its way into Ever Crisis so I don't know I don't think it's all that absurd to have one Ever Crisis exclusive on there especially when it's that well that Perfectly, in my opinion, uh, executed. The first soldier is fucking perfect as it is. We don't need more than Ever Crisis. I'm happy if it just stays an Ever Crisis exclusive until the day they need to end service, and no, none of us wants to think about that right now. So, you know, I don't know. I don't know, man. If you have manpower to do a first soldier standalone, then uh, my uh, I would, you know, if I were the producer, I'd, I'd put that on or the director. I never understood really who does what in a video game. But anyway, um, I'd put that on, on porting before Crisis because it's going to be so fucking great. I can't wait. I can't wait for that. Um, I wonder how we got it. I have a theory on that. Well, no, a theory. I just think it would be really neat if that turned out to be the case. You know how Gilgamesh, the uh, actual FF5 character that keeps jumping from Final Fantasy to Final Fantasy, eventually gets his hand on Sephiroth's Masamune? What I think would be absolutely amazing is a big twist coming in First Soldier Chapter 2 is that it's actually um, Gilgamesh shows up, has the Masamune from some other world, and then Sephiroth gets it from him, and then Gilgamesh leaves without the Masamune. I think that, that would blow my mind, that would be amazing, and that would fill in a lot of things. It's really hard to get a timeline on, you know, when uh, different appearances of Gilgamesh happen, throughout the entire Final Fantasy continuity. Those would be a huge help. Um, and I'd really love it if that if that was the case. But not very likely. And actually, I think a lot of people would be pretty pissed at it. Like, that's not an origin story. It's just a weird crossover. But I know for sure that I'm not the only total Final Fantasy nerd that would be excited about that. Yeah, exactly. It would just put, uh, you know, 
it's kind of that thing, right? Like, um, if I'm sorry, this is very simplistic and not a very great point to bring up but sometimes people tell religious people or you know people that believe in god in the way that um modern mainstream organized religions um understand it and you know it's like all right so if god created everything what created god it's sort of the same thing i totally agree which is why i don't think they're gonna go with that because people would, would be mad like it's not an origin story you just shifted the the goalposts right i would be excited about that because it would open up for another final fantasy game where the masamune has a central place in the lore and then at the end gilgamesh gets it and that's how it gets thrown back to seven I would love that shit. I would love that shit. You know, put it in a in a fucking ten spin-off or sequel or whatever, and uh, then that'll really fucking mess with our heads because it'll mean that Gilgamesh is not just a, a dimensional traveler but also a time traveler. And this is right up Final Fantasy's alley, right? But anyway, I'm getting I'm getting way out into my fan fiction zone now. Let's get back to Rebirth. Um, yeah, holy shit, Raiden. Uh, that would have been big if true. I I did not see him getting that, but. You would have to make a Gilgamesh FF story alone with how he's able to time travel. Yeah, but you know, let's talk about that. How ridiculous an I of an idea is it to think of a Final Fantasy game that is entirely Gilgamesh? You have a playable Gilgamesh. You jump through every... We get a proper origin story for him as well, because honestly, you know, there's that thing where everybody, and I included, say, oh, he's from Final Fantasy V. We don't get that much background info on Final Fantasy V, and there's the whole thing about, all right, the moment we leave him, it makes a lot of sense that he goes on to those interdimensional adventures. That doesn't mean he wasn't doing that before, you know what I'm saying? So there you go, first twist right there. Gilgamesh is actually not from the Final Fantasy V universe, it's just one of the places he's visited. And then you give us a lot more new stuff. They could foreshadow stuff, like just bring us to a crazy world with very weird characters. And, you know, fucking get Nomura on payroll for a minute so that he, he, he draws another fucking cloud clone. And then, um, and then just leave that up in the air so that years later, decades from now, when people are working on Final Fantasy, they can be like, yo, we still haven't, you know, visited that. Like, I think it'd be brilliant. Square Enix, hire me as your, um, whatever, producer lawmonger for the Gilgamesh soul entry in the series. And, uh, and you know, we'll come up with cool shit. Raiden, all of Gilgamesh's swords are fake, apparently, so where do you get a real Murasame? 13 has all has all the time travel shite. A lot of Final Fantasies have the time travel shite. Actually, kind of, it always makes me smile when people complain about time travel in modern Final Fantasies, like, eh, time travel stories never work! And, you know, I, not that I'm this guy, but uh, if I were, I'd totally go, actually, Final Fantasy 1 is a time travel story, so time travel has always been a part of Final Fantasy, you know, it's weird to not be happy when it happens in Final Fantasy. Anyway, let's play a bit of Rebirth, y'all. Sorry, I get excited, okay? This shit is... There's a lot of cool shit happening in the Ever Crisis world, in the in the Final Fantasy world, you know, world, uh, in a larger sense, and, and I'm excited! All right. Yeah, but it's an annoying mechanic in 13. I don't... So, you know, 13 is... <laughs> 13th story, I think, was a mess, to be honest. Again, you know that if I say something negative about a Final Fantasy entry, it, it, you know, it's always hard for me to say, but yeah. But I actually think that 13.2 made it a lot better, fixed a lot of everything, and kind of explained a bunch of shit. And I was kind of happy with the time travel in 13.2. But then again, I love, I love, I love 13.2. Um, you know, I'm one of those people. Um, I love it a lot, a lot more. I cannot emphasize how much more I like 13.2 than 13. And also, yeah, I think it was an all right game on its own, like, even not... Even if you remove from it the fact that it fixed 13 for me, which was not a given, I love it. I love it as a whole. Holy time, time to do a YouTube podcast of FF? You know, I've been meaning to... I do have, like, ideas for scripted videos about Final Fantasy that I want to make, and Gilgamesh... The whole Gilgamesh thing is one of those uh, things that I really like to explore and deep dive in and do research and shit. But I am so I anyway, this if if I ever get down to working on that, it'll probably be years down the line. So I don't want to tease you guys too much, but yeah, no, there's definitely a lot to be said, and and you know, there's a lot of wonderful Final Fantasy content creators out there, and uh, but I do feel like there are things that are not explored that have not been been delved in quite as much as they could be. And one of the main things is the whole, you know, cross-Final Fantasy 
you know, mythology lore type stuff. And I understand that a lot of Final Fantasy fans are actually not big fans of that being a thing. But, you know, Gilgamesh is a perfect example that it absolutely is. The Final Fantasies are all tied together. Don't even get me started on the fact that Shinra, the Shinra founder is from Final Fantasy X. I get excited about that shit. Um, and I feel like, yeah, there's a lot to be said. There's a lot of work, research uh, that could be made on, again, like trying to get a, a as close to a, you know, like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, like, proper timeline of, of Gilgamesh's movements around the Final Fantasy franchise um, would be amazing. If that if, if anybody's done that before, and I'm just not aware of their research, um, you know, my bad, but I don't believe it's ever been done, and I do think there are those tiniest clues that we could definitely use to try and, and, and put some after the other. I would say 14 definitely happens after 5, for instance. Again, I feel like most people just take for granted that 5 is a starting point. To me, it's not that much of a given. But anyway, yeah. I'd love to. I'd love to. If... I don't know. If I if I accidentally become rich or some shit, I'll definitely work on, on doing that sort of thing. All right. Um, thanks for popping in. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for, for being around and shit, man. I love you. And... Um, yeah, um, I'll I'll whisper you the link to the Discord uh, when I'm done streaming, and I hope to see you on there. And if not, it's totally fine, but we do want you as a Knights of the Round. All right, folks, sorry about that little interlude. Let's go see what's up. There's been a shooting. No, uh, excuse me. All right, so Gaitsef is the one talking to everyone. Eh? Uh, copy that, sir. Apologies for the delay, please. I love how, like, a cat with a Scottish accent is just their boss, and they're like, totally okay. God, he goes, ring ring! Monster. One day we'll get out of Gold Saucer this Raiden. Me. Are you talking about the shooting or, or the Scottish cat voice in your, in your, your, your bud, dude? Found a place to transport the bodies? Evacuate the guests first. Look at this biker motherfucker. Or... Oh no, I guess he's a gold saucer medic? What is that symbol on his back? Please. No, Raiden, see, we're not, we're not getting out of gold saucer. Yeah, no, they are definitely gold saucer employees. Cast members. This is the usual registration area. What's a sit rep? Situation report. Okay, thanks, Morgan. That makes sense. Google it. All right, let's go. Give me a sit rep on the other squares. Report back to the director once you've taken witness. Where are we headed? Are we headed to the side or no? Okay, this is just a gold saucer exchange. <laughs> See, it really is Disneyland, isn't it? Like the gift shops are exactly they look the exact same as they do in Disneyland. Thank fuck this isn't thank fuck there is no, you know, gold saucer Europe in real life. I need to get back to work. Oh no, we're stuck, y'all. Oh, that's a mess. Shit. Look at Kate's life. It's like I told you. Someone went in a rampage. Rampage. No. I'll take it from here. I am Dio. As park director, it's my pleasure to welcome you to this, our gilded paradise. <laughs> we meet again, young man. If you'd like to go another round, I'm always game. Seriously? <laughs> a director from head office was attending a Coliseum match earlier when their security detail was gunned down. Both guests and staff were caught in the crossfire. That's terrible. Why the big focus on the mission? The missing? assailant took care to knock out the cameras. And so we have no image of their face. But according to eyewitness reports, 
It was a man with a gun grafted to one arm. And that's when it hit me. I knew this man. He was one of several fugitives we were warned to be on the lookout for. Nigh as tall and muscular as I, yet brash and brazen. With an ever-present scowl that smolders behind his sunglasses and... A gun for an arm. A gun for an arm. Tell me, does that sound like anyone you might know? Now wait a minute. Barrett might have a temper, but he'd never do this. No, you wouldn't. Though I'd like nothing more than to believe you. This tells a very different tale. A hundredth gay each? You cheap no, fucks! Me. Listen, this couldn't have been Barrett. And what makes you say that? The cameras. It's not his style <laughs> to avoid the limelight. If he really did kill all these people, he would have had a damn good reason. One that he'd want the world to know about. He'd have made sure you had the footage. Trust me. It's got a point. That's all about it. Well, you do not want for loyalty, which is a quality close to my heart. But this is a serious matter. Mere character statements will not suffice. I'll tell you what. Find me the true perpetrator, and I will declare your friend innocent. Interesting. You have 24 hours, after which you will all be deemed complicit, clapped in chains, and delivered to Shinra. Insurance. In the event you decide to make a break for it. We won't need to. Good. Now go before the Turks beat you to the punch. Wait, the Turks are here? <laughs> Competition's good for the soul. <laughs> Our culprit awaits below, my scrappy friends. In the name of justice, go forth! If you care to follow me, I will be your faithful guide. Faithful guide. And the elevator is that way. The elevator is that way. This right. way, folks. This way, folks. Quick as you like. Quick as you like. This is really interesting. Um, yeah, Dio. It's funny how how far they went with the uh, the Dio thing. Um, Sultan, I don't remember. I don't think you went far enough in fourteen to see the uh, fourteen version of the Gold Saucer. But the uh, founder of the 14 Gold Saucer is an obvious callback to Dio. And the really interesting thing here is the timeline of it all, right? Is that Dio was an OG character, obviously. But, you know, like always, with the OG graphics and stuff, we definitely could not... And that's the vibe they wanted to go for, for sure. I think they did a great job of, of um, translating that into modern graphics. But you know what I'm saying is that I feel like Godbert Manderville, the 14 Dio stand-in, actually influenced a lot of the way this Dio moves and stuff, which I think is great, you know, when it goes both ways. It's like a self-reference upon a self-reference. Inception fucking type shit. I love that. I love that. And, uh... <laughs> And yeah, Raiden, my, my headcanon is now that you look exactly like Dio. Whenever I, I, I read you type or listen to you talk, I'm, I'm going to assume I'm talking to this guy. It also makes a lot of sense. You are the Dio, you know, you are to Knights of the Round what Dio is to the Gold Saucer in many ways. Find me who did. Including how, how hard I'll you can flex, sure that right? That's all you. They my golden um, the second thing, of course, is a small small difference. I time but is of the essence. I f hey, don't, don't get passive-aggressive on me, bit. Find me who did. Um, you know, in the OG Ever Crisis timelines, we have, at least my reading of it, maybe I was wrong, but that Dio was kind of oblivious, and he just went straight to the, I saw you guys hang out with a man with a gun arm, fuck you, your, your culprits, we get sent to prison, and, and that's how it goes. Whereas here, there's this whole, you know, you have 24 hours to find the culprit and stuff. He seems to be a lot more, I don't know, involved and, and aware of stuff than in the OG Ever Crisis timelines, at least from my reading of it. Um, shit, I can't use my sword in here. 
Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Every typo I do is just a misflex. Yeah, I'm sure when you give us the stats of your tunes on Ever Crisis, you know, you forget like one zero every now and then. And also the, uh, okay, so Kate's same with the, again, maybe it's just me missing things from my reading or wanting not to read too much, not to use the info that I have from playing all of OG. But, you know, I feel like Kate's involvement, ooh, look at this. I'm a yellow, whatever the fuck this is. Um, I feel like Kaitsev's involvement in OG and Ever Crisis is kind of mysterious, you know, you're like, what the fuck is that thing? And here there's the whole thing where like, he gives orders around and stuff, Dio seems very aware of who it is, he's the one leading us down to prison. Which brings me to my last point. Why is the... alright, he's all like, find the perpetrator, oh by the way, go downstairs to find him? What do you know about who the real perpetrator is? And you know, going back to that, just how much does Dio know about really, really happened? This is sus as fuck to me, like, it sounds a lot like Dio knows exactly who it is, he knows he wasn't Barrett, he's sending us after the real culprit, you know, just cause he has this, I know you guys are Avalanche, I could turn you over to Shinra, but you know, I really want to find the perpetrator, so you go and find me the perp and we'll forget, but he even knows where the perp is. Which brings me to another thing, in case you guys haven't played OG or, or watched me play through it, um, I don't want to say too much before we, we reach that point in the Rebirth version, but... Um, it's not entirely clear to me why that person did what they did. And there's the whole thing about, I just want to watch the world burn. But is that it really? You've been here for years. It's the first time you came up with the idea of just going upstairs and fucking shit up. What What happened? What changed? You know what I'm saying? Um, and I feel like maybe with the rebirth timeline, we, get, we might get more insight into that than we did in uh, OG and Ever Crisis. <clears throat> I was streaming to World earlier, you had a chance to see. I know, you know what, I actually saw you guys, um, and, you know, just you being on, on vocal was already exciting to me, uh, but I just had so much shit to, to, to prepare, and actually procrastinated like hell, uh, instead of doing everything I wanted to do, but anyway, yeah, I thought, I definitely, if I, if I hopped on with you guys, I would not have done any of the things I wanted to do, so, no regrets. And hey, we have our own Discord now, we'll be, we'll be hanging out in voice soon enough, I'm sure. They know he went down the elevator. Oh, you're right. They, they, yes, that makes sense. Okay, so this is just a an obvious clue and not a sign that they know more. My bad. Never mind that point about how much does Dio know, but the rest still stands, right? He sounds like he knows. I'm sorry, this whole deal is weird as fuck, right? Like you can make three hundred thousand uh, gil just turning us in. It seems like a safe assumption that the dude you saw with us is the one who carried out the shooting. Why are you giving us a chance? What's going on here? Unless he knows more about what happened than he's letting on. But yeah, okay, the elevator thing makes sense though. My bad. There's already so many of us. This is something I love about, um, I guess, older Final Fantasies, it's, it's fair to say. It's a very large number of, of body members. Um, I love 16. The place we're headed is called the Dust Bowl, and it is nasty. Once upon a time, it was where the Gold Saucer employees used to live. But when hordes of fiends started appearing, the staff relocated up top, where it was safe. Up top? The building's vacant. All sorts of lowlives, ruffians, and ne'er-do-wells swooped in to stake their claim. Ah, the place it could have been tears me up inside. So, basically another wall market. Ha! A paradise compared to this cesspool. Set one foot inside, and it's farewell freedom, so long dignity. I mean, why else do you think they started calling it Corel Prison? Except that prison's got no bars, no rules. Mugging, maiming, murdering. It's all on the table. In summary, prepare yourselves for one seriously cold reception. This is our stop. Right, we're in the core prison. And we got a bit more backstory on it. Um, did we get all that info about it used to be where gold saucer employees lived and stuff? 
I, I, I did wonder um, how many... Is that an actual... What the fuck is that? Is that a Boba Fett helmet up there? Jeez. Hmm? Nobody home? Oh, they're home, all right. Stay sharp. Yuffie, why are you running ahead, girl? Aren't you supposed to be the ninja? Aren't you supposed to, like, hide out? Wait for us to start the fight, and then when the initiative's rolled, you jump in and one-shot the motherfuckers? What you doing? Oh, she wants to hang out with the magic cat. I get that. I get that. <laughs> Shit. Get clown. <laughs> Welcome to Corel Prison, bitch. <laughs> oh shit! Off to a great start. We did get out of gold saucer, though. My my promise is. Um... Top of the morning to ya. Whoa, now wouldn't try that if I was you. <laughs> All right, follow me. Why, why didn't they take our weapons? <laughs> Off we go! <laughs> you just wait right there. Hey, boss! Your guests are here! <laughs> Woo! Hell yeah! Allow me to welcome you to my desert oasis, Cloud. Welcome. Cloud, right? Uh, Merc for hire? Got it in one, boss man. <laughs> but which one of you is it? Is it you? You? Maybe you? Or is it the pooch? <gasps> I'm just messing with you. That there is our man. I don't think we've met. Of course we haven't met. You got brain damage? <laughs> I'm not the type of player folks tend to forget. Oh, look at it. Now, you may not know me, but I know you. And why do you think that is, think? Mr. Mercenary? Mm -hmm. Ha! I'll tell you why. Because it's my business to know. And what kind of businessman would I be if I didn't have the scoop on the man who brought down Donnie C? Yeah. Let me just say, bravo. Well done. We're looking for someone. Hey there, hi there, ho there. No need to explain. Intel's my bread and butter. Really gotta tell you twice? Uptown secrets always trickle down. Which is why I'm ever so certain that you'll be useful. What do you want? So, the son of a bitch with a gun for an arm? I got him under lock and key. Out in the middle of the village. Now, I'm a generous guy, so I'd be happy to tell you where to find him. But only if I get a little something from you first, understand? A little something being a shitload of money. I want stacks of it, heaps of it, mountains of it. I mean, did you hear what he did? Your buddy shot Shinra troopers in broad freaking daylight. Yeah, that's kind of so a regular Tuesday afternoon for free. us. You think my prison runs on good deeds? No, sir. It runs on guilt. So much so goddamn guilt. So yeah, Gil, that's what I want. And relax, I know you don't have it on you, but I got an idea on how you can scrape some together. I'm gonna drink you and one lucky chocobo in the races, and you are gonna win. <laughs> on that note, till you bring home the bacon, I'm gonna hold on to your pizza. Oh, help us out. Hey, chill out, kiddo. We'll take excellent care of them. Unless you fail to deliver, in which case, well, let's just say... There are plenty of other ways to raise the funds I require. If he's a kid, you motherfucker. Price on anything. Frick. Ah, uh -uh. that's Gus to you. Got that, jockey boy? As for all those pesky race details, talk to Garth here. I got you, boss man. Don't let me down, huh? Later. Later. Oh my god, I hate him. Mr. Merc. 
Let's go meet your bird. <laughs> Better stick close, you hear? <laughs> Look at Bingle, motherfucker, over here. I got you, guy. I just hope Baron's safe out there. Be careful, okay? Creepazoids. Yo, Yuffie, can you go grab that that material behind you? We got this. We got this, y'all. Don't worry. Oh, Red, I'm sorry. Exactly. You with the gang. No need to worry about us. We can handle ourselves. Good luck. We're rooting for you. Is that an actual vulture? Oh my fucking god, look at it. It's watching us move. Alright, you got all the side dialogue. Dude, have you seen the size of my sword? You sure you wanna call me a dumbass? I did get knocked out by just one hit of uh, a dude's bat, but... I was a soldier first class, alright! RESPECT MY AUTHORITY! I like how we're like. Let's steal another trick of this scene. I like how we're like on a side quest for Dio, and within the side quest, we we go on a side quest for. Ooh, nice! A purple sword! Come on! Shut up! You know what I'm saying? This is like side quest inception. Nail bat. I have the same one back home. <laughs> My flat in Midgard that's beneath the fucking rubble of the blade fallen. Thanks. Whoops! You know we still got your friends, right? Yeah, sure I do, Garf. Oh, that's funny, it's like Odo walking all the way back to him. Is that supposed to happen? I feel like I might not have been supposed to jump off that thing. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Where the fuck are you, Garth? Ooh, what do you sell? I love your hair! No, they don't! Oh, you sold Chocobo shit. That looks, that actually looks really cute. Um, I've been a sucker on, on Chocobo medals, golden pumes, that's what they're called. Eh, we can buy all this later. Let's keep on being uh, cheap. Shit, I should craft some. And change my weapon. Alright, purple weapon, let's fucking go! Look at all those, um... Material slots. Ooh, I love it. A mystifying sword forged from a gem that emits an eerie glow. Prime mode. Strength and punisher mode. Hold down attack to deliver three consecutive strikes. Increases berserk potency. Fuck his berserk. Finish off an enemy while active. Alright, alright, we'll try that. One more material! Or will we give Cloud? Yeah, Yuffie's got a steal, we good on that front. Let's go with first try. No, no. Prevents and get- Yes, I love that shit. Max HP, restorative MP saver. Reduces MP cost of healing spells by 10%. Interesting. So it's 5% upon defeating enemies. I don't know who's gonna defeat the enemies. What's the other thing we wanted to do in the menu, y'all? There were two things, right? Uh, crafting. Real quick. Because I'm... Yeah, I'm stocked up on a lot of shit. Let me just craft a bunch of popos. The musics... Are... I... Uh, I don't even know, man. Wow. <laughs> 
Uh, let me see. We're all out of sage, but we do have a bunch of gold ginger root. And Laurel, we have a bunch of everything. Fuck me. Just go with a few more mist potions. That's always useful. Just gotta remember that I have them. All right. your new champ hmm. he's all yours so you're cloud the merc <laughs> can't say i was expecting someone so pretty pretty shrinky. i'm esther chocobo wrangler pleasure i thought she was a lot older than that cloud? aren't you that kid from the ranch well hang on you two know each other what happened we were making our way to the saucer for Pico's racing debut. Oh no! Per Pico! Nabbed us. Hold up. How about you tell him the real story? How you were dying out there in the dunes? How we saved your scrawny ass? <sighs> Ungrateful little piece of shit. So, you want me to race Pico? <laughs> Alright, we're being that cute outfit yeah, if it's for Pico. Our trek through the desert did a real number on him. Why the fuck were you trekking and through the desert with fall. Pico, Billy? What he the fuck? Eat and regain his strength. I don't fancy his chances. Good thing his jockey's on the job. Pico needs food, and yes. you're gonna find it. Anything per Pico needs. Fine. I'm coming too. Okay then. Grab that bird some grub and bring it to me. I'll be waiting. Interesting. I am surprised at, at how Esther looks, I must say. I was... I don't know, the vibe I got was... Having trouble finding that feed for Pico? Let me think. <laughs> Maybe check out that underground fighting ring. Alright. Good luck out there, cutie pie. Having trouble finding that Maybe she just looks young? I don't know. The vibe I got from the OG graphics was that she was more of a... I don't want to say the word MILF, but I just said it. What are you talking to me for? Go get the food! Don't you dare go disappointing my man, Gus! What are you talking to me for? Go get the food! Alright, alright, alright. Alright, Sultan, thank you so much for popping in, man. I will see you very soon. And uh, thanks, thanks for the love, brother. I, I appreciate it a lot. I'll see you around, Sultan. All right, let's uh, let's get my boy Pico everything. Starting with the poncho. He will need a poncho once he's back on his feet. How much do I have? Twelve. I can buy four more, so we need to give up on one. Um, yeah, we're not gonna make him wear that, but there is, you know, like Tifa throwback guy Tifa. I like that. I like that. How about we leave the scorpion breastplate for now and get everything else? There we go. You have fun guessing up that bird of yours. I will. Okay, and now we can explore Coral Prison, I guess. That's nice. Let's go see what's up. Oh wait, no, this is the actual fighting thingy where we might find feed. Where are those crafting materials? How do I get there? How do I get there? There we go. Oh, that's Billy. <laughs> Billy's coming with us. Is he gonna fight alongside us? What is Billy's fighting style? Door is locked. I love that sword. It looks a lot like the um, one of the variants of the. Ultima weapon in 16. Hey, no loitering. Let's go back upstairs. Solemnitude manner. Would they just let us walk right back to the elevator? And clouds getting hit hit on all over the place. Is that where I just came from? Yeah. 
Sorry, Billy. That's what we haven't been. Are you sitting on that? That's also a tiny little, uh, you know, tidbit here. I don't know if you can even call it lore, but again, you know, the relationship between the Jokies, the Chocobo racing at Gold Saucer and the prison was not entirely clear. Um, in OG to me, like, you know, they did say not all jokies are prisoners trying to get a uh, pardon, but many of them are. But now they're implying very strongly that the um, coral prison inmates are the ones uh, caring for the chocobos, even beyond the fact that many of them are jokies. Uh, which, you know, interesting. Deep lore! Deep lore, yo! Either you leave on or we drag your house outside. Bitch, you have all of my friends locked up. I want to leave. Let me desert rush your ass. Sounds like it's going to be the same minigame um, than we got in the Sector 5. Slumps? Step right up and give it a try. More mini games, yay! All right, de-stress like the derelicts of the Dust Bowl by whacking some boxes. Destroy as many boxes as possible within the time limit. Each box broken will add to your score, reach the target score before time runs out to win. In order to break gear boxes blocking your path, you must first destroy enough shock boxes to power them. Okay. Devise a plan of attack using the hit activated elevators to move between floors and whack your way to victory. Ooh, and we get a Tifa weapon out of it. Let's fucking go! Alright. Is there anything behind me? Yes, I will spot Oh, I can't one shot these bitches. What you doing, guys? There we go. Alright, we good, we good. I wonder how triple flash would work. Like, what would you target? Let me try it. That's a triple flash for him. Alright, come on. There we go. Come on, you can't jump that? Fuck you, Cloud. You sold your first class. I sold your first class. Where the fuck up? God damn it. What are you doing, Cloud? Okay, these need more power. That's always a good idea. How do we? We got. We're all right. We're all right. We got this, y'all. Good job. Good job, now. All right, we stay here as well. Can we get the time? Yes. Wonderful. Where did I miss the um? What the fuck are you doing? I'm crying out loud! Wait, oh, there it is. Okay. Got this! Go back there, yeah. Holy oh shit, we're short on time! Come on, time. What? Oh my god. Is this a dead end? No! Okay, 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 okay. 
Basta! Fine! Okay. Oh. Am I supposed to like send magic at those fucking things or? All right, we can do a lot better than that. Let's go right back in. We want those Tifa gloves, but it's very weird. I don't know if you guys can tell if you haven't played Rebirth, but like. Got some greens for you. Yes, we want to play it again. Um, usually in combat, I can lock onto a target, right? And here with the boxes, I can't do that. Which is just, it, it makes it feel very weird and clunky. I just need to figure out how to do this properly. We'll be alright, we'll be alright. Oh, yo. See, like, my triple slash is completely useless. It just, like, runs into nothing. Come on, pal. Alright, alright, alright. Hurry up. Oh god, I can't jump. Alright. You can definitely win safe time here. You can join the other side through here. Sorry. All right. All right. Don't even try these before I get all the time thingy. See, how do I get that one? That's what I don't understand. Where was the fucking? Oh my god, I'm so bad at you know. Why? Move, 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 move. There we go. There it is. All right. Sorry. Did the big uh, energy thingy give me points as well? Let's try it out. Beautiful, do you see that? It's only gonna get the one. Stupid fucking cloud. Nope. Oh my god. Come on. Why? I don't get it. I don't get it, yo! Do I need even more power? I think... Wasn't that all the power we got on this floor last time? We're all out of luck! Yeah. For every fucking where, I don't get it. Well, since this is an L anyway... Fuck. I don't have a single spell on him. Okay, why are the elevators not working? Because I need to keep slapping it. Oh my god, okay. I, I thought my, you know, it was like an on off thing and my keeping at it was messing us up. Alright, alright, y'all, we got this. Progress! It's progress! Maybe I should have equipped him a magic spell. Get that time. We have to merge better star, aren't we? Break yourself. Great. I go back. Get that 200 on the way. Nice. Leave these alone and get this. So 
That's what I want to see. I don't know if it's any use breaking up that other one since it just leads back to the same way, so I'm gonna leave it. Climb up. Alright, that's 200. Go back down. Can I? Okay, shit. Alright, where to next? Where was the free thingy? Oh, there's a time here I wanna get. Nice. Alright. Where's the fucking... Oh, here we go. Okay. We're alright, we're alright. We got one more minute. We got this! Alright. Shit. Way too much time needed. No. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Come on, come on, come on, Cloud. There was a time there, Cloud. What are you doing? Where's the fucking... Right, fine, I'll take that. Three times. Go. I need energy. Three times, all right. Where the fuck is the energy thing? That's the way I. Oh god, what am I doing? I'm going down, get out, fuck you! You've gotta be kidding me. There we go. Alright, bunch of 200, we'll take like that. I don't see the last energy box. Fuck! Why can't you jump down, Cloud? Fuck's sakes! I'm an next soldier first class. Alright, well, that was better. Prog! Just gotta find the last energy box, and we should uh, we should be all right. I really don't understand where it's supposed to be. I guess it was all the way up top, and also I don't. Un oh shit! Am I supposed to use the uh, wind slash move thingy to get the uh, unreachable boxes? Is that what this is? That would make a lot of sense. So long. Nothing up there, right? Fuck this, Cloud! Alright, let's go. That's really shit. Come on! No, God. Alright, alright, this is a bad run. That's alright, that's alright. We'll get it. I get the time one. Uh. Wait, can I no? He's on the way. Alright, ignore these. That's where I get lost. Not free yet. 
get that one. That's just no figuring out. Fuck me, what was the third one? Yeah. What? Oh shit, there are four. Get the 200. That one too. Alright, the freeze are here. So we definitely, this last energy has got to be up there. It's the only way in. Yeah, excuse you, you have no audio. You mean you can't, you, you don't, right? It's not my stream uh, glitching up again. Say it in Sojo! Each one one at a time. Alright, so. Let's use this run for research, y'all. It's gotta be a... An energy somewhere. So I guess I need to go back down to a place I couldn't reach before. Oh, look at this! Energy! Go all the way around, then back up top. Alright, how do we go down? How do we go down? Come on. Oh god, I fucking hate it when that happens. Oh, I want to try to that. How the fuck am I supposed to aim the uh, wind slash at the fucking boxes? Alright, still prog though. 42k for Tifa's gloves. We can do that. We can get that. We can get that. Let's get off gold saucer. No more mini games. See if you can do even better next time. Oh, I definitely can, love. Let's get them dragon gloves. We got this. We got this. Now that I kind of, sort of, have a vague idea of the layout. This shit's gonna be easy. I can probably save a few secs here by. Actually starting with the other Rhea to build up my ATB and then pop in the Braver uh, on the energy really might save us a bit of time. Fuck, this is this last and then we good, we good, we good, we good. Come on. Oh, they do give points. A lot of things, actually. We want to get all of them. Alright, 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 alright. Hurry up, Cloud! yourself before you wreck yourself. Fuck! No! I'm lost again! Where was the fucking... There. Jesus. I will do a lot better than I got the layout figured out, sure, Morgan. Get all the trends. 
Fucking off. We got this, we got this. Get me up, get me up, get me up, get me up. Nice! We got the time that I usually miss. Alright. on our fours, right? Yes. Shit, where was the... No! How do I get lost again? I don't get it. I don't get it. How do I even go down from here? Please tell me I'm just being stupid and the uh, map layout is not slightly randomized. I seriously can't figure out how to get... <laughs> oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Plus we get time, okay. That was the place. Alright, this is not gonna be our perfect run just yet. We're we getting there, yo. We're getting there, look at this. Hang in there. Alright. Nice back down. Probably is... One of those two is probably a better idea. For future reference, I don't know which one. Then back up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, get the tag. Yes. Hurry the fuck up. Alright, alright. Oh, I still beat my record while getting lost for hours. Surely we got this. Alright, off to the side. Don't hit the energy one just yet. Get some HP in here first. Fuck, I should not use the picture of some one from the fight. Noted! Alright. There we go. We can one shot this bitch. There we go. We're doing all right, I think. No, over there. Come on, what the? Oh shit, they're fours. My bad, my bad, me bad. It's all right. Still got time. Um, fuck. Here. Go back up again. Get that thing, get that thing, yeah. fucking yeah. out. That's alright, that's alright, that's alright, boy. We got this. Yeah. <laughs> 
crap. Should have played with that bitch in the way. Oh, that's alright, that's alright, we don't need it. No, oh, come on. Shit, we need to go all the way back up. Man, fuck that's my thing. Ah, I missed the time again. Where's the fucking? There we are. There we are. There we are. One. Nice. What do we have up here? No. All right, all right. We still do. We got it. We do got this. We do got this. I'll stand by my statement. I just need to not freak out and think that I'm lost because I'm not. I know this map. Okay. Focus. We got this. You know what? I don't know if I like my not breaking this up on the way though. Like I'm probably not that great at it. Yeah. Right. Maybe triple smash this one. Did I do the frog mini game? No, I mean I, you know, fucked around with it for a bit, but I did not manage to get the, um, like, the, you mean the full guys type thingy raisin, right? Nah, I had uh, my mom who was watching me, and she hates it when I do mini games, and you know, I, I felt like I get back to it at the later point. So. Rug mini game I have not maxed out just yet. Oh my god, I left some 200s out here. We got an old okay. Alright, that was good. Okay. Is it okay? So tell me that, Raiden. Is um, is rebirth like remake in that you need to redo a whole bunch of side content on hard uh, to get all the trophies and shit? I really hope it's not. It's one of the few things I didn't like about remake is don't make me redo the same fucking side quests. For I love side quests, but not twice in two consecutive playthroughs. You know what I'm saying? Yes. All right, we got the time this way. Them five seconds are gonna take us over the top, y'all. You'll see. Trust in me. No, Cloud. What the fuck was that? You've got to be kidding me. We're all right. We're all right. We're all right. Uh, that's well. Always no. We're fine. We're not. We're not lost. We're exactly where we're going. Go get that bitch. Head back down. Then head back upstairs. Go. Fuck that bitch up. Yeah, bitch. All right, we good. We good. Keep going up. Wait, how did I not get this? Alright. Yeah. Oh, that's alright. 
Boom! Got this! Alright, yo, we did it. We have uh, 15 seconds to spare. We could just sit and chill. What did we miss? Triple Slash is really good for this minigame. Fucking hell, Raiden. Like, I tried it out on my first go and was unconvinced, and then I have not been using it, and that's why I struggled, I guess. That's alright, we bit it with the good old brute force strategy. Um, there are a few hard mode only quests, and there's that manuscripts to get all of the achievements, etc. Yeah, so I'm gonna do so the exact same thing as Remake, then. I'll have to re go through all the side contents, or most of the side content for the manuscripts and stuff. I suppose the produce here ain't all bad. I mean, compared to the stuff folks are growing out in the grasslands, it's downright dire. But hey, I ain't picky. Boy, yeah, maybe I'll do, you know, like, the thing I did with Remake was that right after I finished my uh, first playthrough, I went straight into the uh, hard mode stuff and trophy cleanup and shit. Um, which might have been a mistake, like, you know, fatigue sets in even when you're as much of a nerd and a fan as I am. So I'll probably try and, and leave some time before I uh, go through Rebirth again. But yeah, 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 I definitely... And then again, I feel like it also frees you up if you want to go your first, your first, uh, you know, like playthrough. Just go mindless, don't worry about side content, enjoy the story, and then you clean everything up. But I do like having the side content as I go along, you know, for like little tidbits of lore and shit that we get from side quests. Um, but anyway, it's alright, you know, it's a, it's a good reason to go back to a wonderful game a few months from now or whatever. Alright, yo, I'm gonna take a real quick break. Hard mode is easy when you get the build set up. Yeah, 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 honestly, no, not, you know, but with Remake, I did not struggle with hard mode all that much. I've not finished it just yet. I only have the last chapter and then Vice fight. But it was alright, and again, this is like, I barely needed to look up strategy guys or builds or anything. Um, was there any fights I needed to do that for? Maybe the, you know, like pre-ultimate before the Yuffie was released, I think I looked stuff up online. But other than that, yeah, it's, it's you know, it's doable. It's actually enjoyable as well. I'm just saying, you know, when you when you just come out of the original playthrough and you have all those feels and stuff and the story building up and then you need to re-go through the entire same thing, including side content. You know, it feels like a bit of a grind. But, but it's alright, it's alright. We'll get through that. I'm still gonna keep on doing all the side content in this first playthrough because I love it. And, um, and fuck it. I blame myself uh, in the future. All right, y'all, taking a quick break. Be back in five. We'll be back. And we're back. And we're back. Yo, Raiden, you know you were making fun of me for my Shadowbringers art, and you were all like, "It's not down trail." But I feel like the paintbrush thingy is kind of down down traily, right? Like it's it's like it's a paintbrush. Don't you dare go disappoint me. Shut up. All right, let's go right in, you guys. After <laughs> yet more mini games. There you go, Perplico. It's a star, but nowhere near enough. Oh shit. I lied. More mini games incoming. Trouble finding that feed for Pico? Let me think. Could ask the bartender? He has this garden he fusses over. Or used to anyway. Good luck out there, cutie pie. Hey, nobody care about that painter class. I was, um, my money was on it being Void Mage because it makes so much sense with the lore and what they've given us in post uh, and Walker MSQ and shit. But no, it was not to be. And you know, like it's a callback to Realm, so all their Final Fantasy callbacks, I'm all for that. Right. Oh shit! Fuck yes, y'all! We've got some uh, QB action. You know, I um, you have to do all three like side thingies to get the feed. All right, all right. God damn!
This sounds like a, such a nice place to live. You're a free travel Andy, Raiden? That's a shame, bro. I'd love to raid in 14 with you. Makes you wonder which came first, the biker or the bike. What? Well, hello. Good to see you again. How about a photo to commemorate our reunion? Your fame, your fame to memory is that you completed the Kugani jumping tower, the tower puzzle jump thingy. Holy shit, I still haven't done that, man. And it is, you know, like fucking hell. I admire you for it. See, even in fucking 14, man, like your your knowledge of, of games is ridiculous, Raiden. I thought you were an Ever Crisis guru and I was alright with that. I can live with people being better at me, even at stuff that really matters to me. But I feel like every single time, even when we were playing Wuthering Raves and you were like, oh yeah, I played for five minutes and then you were giving Seth like crazy advice. I'm like, who the fuck are you, man? Are there like seven people that use the same Twitch channel as you and you just pretend to be the same person? Tom, I would rather have my 14 dancer and the monster hunter in Ever Crisis because it would look even cooler. You're a, you're a 14 player, Tom. I didn't know that. Which, uh, oh, but you're probably on the uh, NA data centers, aren't you? I, um, shit, I need to get back on that. Excal. How the fuck are you not getting your ass mugged to death? Alright, can we reach that in the prison? There's something so beautiful about these savage designs. They're cutting edge. Revolutionary. <laughs> Raiden, the only reason you stopped playing is because of Kugani Tower. Ain't nobody forced you to do it, bro. Have I been through here? Yeah, that's where I'm coming from. I really need to work on my, you know, sense of space. <laughs> okay, is one of the... Um, am I gonna get one of the feeds from playing QB? I really hope that's the case, because we're definitely beating all those QB players. I like it. I like you guys a lot. Um, and from what I hear, soon we'll be going cross region. Yeah, there's actually this is what I was mumbling about. You know, there there's this test I'm going until Don Trail drops, where we can all visit the Oceanian um, uh, data center. And I've been meaning to. I when I started playing 14, it was actually on NA servers because of all my 11 friends being on there. And then I made the jump at some point for being and stuff. Uh, Fuck that DC. I know, but just to test it out and help them out. You know, so that we can actually get cross region at some point and I can home I can come hang out with you guys in NA. Um, I'm excited. I've really been meaning me and my friend Lady, we've been meaning to uh, get together and go do whatever, just brulettes or some shit in uh, in the Oceania DC. We just haven't gotten around to it. She's super busy with her life too these days. So but yeah, it's uh fuck and Dumtrail is right around the fucking corner, isn't it? Um, that's done. That's done. That was the uh, Coral side quest. Pietro! I learned recently, was it on stream with one of you guys or was it in real life? I can't even tell that the whole mime thing... No, it was with real life uh, folks. I don't know, Marm, if you're still around, but um, it was with Anton, I believe. That uh, the whole mime thing, being a mime, is very French, apparently. That people, you know, associate that with France, which I had no idea about, which is pretty funny as a Frenchman, I guess. Uh, but that's interesting. We're going to beat up a French-inspired French, French -inspired dude at QB tonight, I guess. Let's go somewhere more quiet. <laughs> oh, come on. I don't fight. Tom, but from what I saw in the live stream, some characters are getting the wrong weapon. 
Sorry for calling you out, Marm. Um, I think so. Wasn't that a conversation the three of us had about mimes and how it's French? Am I making it up? I definitely had that conversation with someone. Do you think, do you think mimes are a French thing? I guess it is kind of associated with Paris, maybe? You ain't getting away. Are you supposed to talk to me, asshole? No? Allow us to show you how is it like all the other French things that are not actually French at all? Like, what, eating, uh, eating frogs and poor uh, personal hygiene? I don't know. I, again, I did not even know about that. It's not a stereotype. Archetype, call it. Ooh, nice, they're following me into the shady area. Look who's back. You lost or something? <laughs> I'm here for your feed. Oh, come on. I don't bite. Oh, uh -huh. and treasure. <laughs> 1.5k. This is like 15% of the bounty on our heads. You got it. Just straight ahead. I remember something like that, but it's quite unclear. It must have been late night conversation then. But uh, all right, I'm I'm happy that you remember it and I'm not crazy. Um, <laughs> the last canton. I really think it was with you guys. French fries, French windows, French kiss and all that. I know, I actually really love the whole French fries thing, because when you think of it, it's one of those things, right, where we in France have this stereotype of, oh, Belgian people eat fries all the time. So we kind of, I don't know, I personally, when you tell me, you know, fries, I go Belgium. And then um, there's also the association with like typical American junk food, right? So there's also the whole fries equals USA. And then what do English speakers call it? French fries? You know, it's like, how is it French? No, seriously, did I just get rid of these guys? I don't want to get rid of you assholes. I want you to try and mug me and then fail miserably and then I can steal your chocobo feed. That was the plan. What are you guys doing? <laughs> I ain't gonna hurt you, promise. What? Got a problem? Oh, am I holding you up? Are they still fucking around? Jesus. Fuck these guys. You lost or something? Alright. These are the QB players. <laughs> Some of this side dialogue, man, I love it. We're spending most our lives living in not close paradise. Anyway, back to the. Oh, right, we cannot. Wait. That's another elevator. Interesting. <laughs> you cannot escape from Coral Prison. Yep, that makes sense. That makes sense. More from what I heard, when the Americans reached France, they saw French people eating thin fries and called them French fries from there on. Yeah, but then again, potatoes came from the Americas, right? So, you know, which... At what time are we talking about? Like, which Americans going back to France? And, you know, what even was an American person at the point where I'm guessing that... That, that word started becoming a thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's weird, isn't it? There's so much, so much stuff that's weird with etymology. Especially when you, when it comes to like, words being shared between languages and shit. My swindling seminar. Today, for the very first time, I'll be unveiling the art behind the card, teaching you the tricks of my trade. Gone are the days of getting duped. Remove the wool over your eyes, and instead, join me in the fleecing. Let's get right to the heart of skillful swindling. The key is to never tell the truth. This may sound easy to some, but do not be fooled. There is a depth to the art of deception. It is a skill you must hone. And what better way to learn than a little practical application? Now then, let us begin the exercise. Mm -hmm. Ideally, I would ask a passerby to tell truth from falsehood. Greetings, friends. Alright, I'll be your passerby. You, sir, have excellent timing. 
I'm conducting a seminar and would appreciate your help. And, as thanks for your assistance, rest assured you will be handsomely rewarded. All you need to do is speak with my lovely pupils here. Four of these folks are lying, while one and only one is telling the truth. Your job is to find the odd one out. Ah, there's also a small fee to participate, but I'm sure you won't mind. No chips came to the USA, then it was called French fries. Sips? What? Sorry, Tom, I don't understand. Conevin Caglio is holding a seminar installing five aspiring swindlers with the tricks of his deceitful trade. Your mission? Discern which one of his disciples is telling the truth. Each guest will cost 500 gil, no refunds, so choose wisely. Investigate his pupil's potential lies by visiting not notable locations around the dust bowl. Review your notes at any time with the left arrow and press L1 to take a closer look. Well, do you think you can figure out who's telling the truth? Definitely. Well, hold up a sec. Let me let me let me Let's do some research there, first. As they say, I encourage you to walk sure, around sure, sure. town and find All right, numero uno. Shit, we're gonna need instant memory, y'all. Can I count on y'all? Cause y'all know I ain't got that. If you're looking for a place to get loaded, then look no further than Bail Jumper. It's the only bar that serves Cosmo Canyons. Ooh, Cosmo Canyons is. If you're looking for a place to get loaded, Clown's Jam. No it's the uh, drink Bail Tifa made for him it's in the only uh, bar remake. That serves Cosmo and then told Canyons. the uh, calm bartender to do. All right, numero uno is the uh, you can get Cosmo Canyons at the bar. You've been to the weapon shop? It's ridiculously loud in there. I like it though. Helps me relax. Plus they sell potions there too. Do they sell potions at the weapon store is question number two. You gotta check out Garf's autobiography. Meditations on the Underling Life. It's at the local bookstore. Yeah, I'm gonna call bullshit on that one. I almost want to spend the 500 gil just to go like, no. This motherfucker did not write a book. Hey, did you see the stamp graffiti over at Gus's crib? He may be a pup, but he sure looks like a hero. All right. Fuck, that's a lot. That's a lot to take in at once. You should test your might in the Beast Battleground. They've got a rare monster named Bug Zero. I think this might actually be a nudge to OG because there was a monster named Bug Zero in Coral Prison, but I might be wrong. Okay, numero uno is Cosmo Canyon at the bar. Number two is potions at the weapon stores. Number three is a uh, spiritual book by Gus at the fucking bookstore. Number four was it's kind of weird, but stem graffiti it's next like to Gus's place. And, and number five was bug zero. All right. I love it when that happens, like, you know, an actual side quest that asks you to run all around since I always do that anyway and I always pick it up last. <laughs> oh, the sand up my ass. What's that? I want them to come at me. I'm guessing that's what this is. Let's go. Imagine just not knowing it. Not knowing why f french fries are called french fries or not knowing who... Um... Oh no, it's the Beast Battleground. Alright, we're gonna test the Bug Zero Fury. The really nice thing is that there actually was the same sort of, you know, weird well where with an old underground area too in the other timelines. And they made more of it like they tend to do with the R timeline. I really like that. Not knowing who's the liar. I call it my money is on the books the book theory. So you looking for a thrill? Yep. Defeat a few fiends and there could be some fresh new greens in it for ya. I'm gonna get so much more f food for uh, <laughs> for Perplico than we need. All right, Silk is Cup number one, Field of Nightmares, a solo battle in which you pick your fighter. Defeat fields who have been spoiling the local harvest and prove yourself worthy of obtaining the fresh greens on offer. Call yourself a Final Fantasy No Legend enjoyer. 
I um I I don't know, we shall see. I wouldn't be since it's you, Raiden, I wouldn't be surprised if you're trolling and my call out is the right one. Um but we shall see in a minute. In any case, I feel I feel like honestly there is no Unless the bug zero thing is it? Because precisely there were no bug zero in uh sorry y'all, just a quick sec. Assess, assess, assess. Alright, we can fuck him up. In OG, other than that. I don't think my FF knowledge um, could have helped me figure out who's who's wrong from the get-go. And for this part, Mr. Coates, which was uh, Gus's name in the other timelines, was a lot less... I don't know, we didn't, you know, like, get to see much of him, but you know what I'm saying, like, he was less of a character, let's say, than Gus is. Gus Coates, I'm guessing. Um, I fucking love having to assess everything. Yeah, Raiden, and see, that's why I'm a, I'm a Final Fantasy Knowledge Enjoyer, is that I love that shit, because it gives me an excuse to actually go and read the little blurb that sometimes gives you lore about monsters and shit. This is one of the things I really enjoy in my cleanup run of uh, Remake on Hard Mode, is getting all the assesses I missed on the first round, and actually doing it, I realize most of them are in Remake when you assess and then you die and then you start a fight again. Uh, if you assessed it the first time and then you beat it without assessing, it will not count towards your assess, you know, list. But I almost had a perfect run of a first playthrough in terms of assess. Apart from, like, some um, Shinra Simulator and stuff, you can only get on hard mode and shit, obviously. But, you know, I was really close to having all of them on the first go because I fucking love assessing monsters. Alright, so kiss, so kiss. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> you don't like to miss them. Me neither, bro. That's, that's why, that's the, that's the joke. That's the game. A sort of battle in which you pick your fighter. Portent of Ruin. Defeat the Fiend, feared to be a portent of Kilometer's Ruin, and prove yourself worthy of obtaining the fresh greens on offer. I like the little build up music. Oh, could this be a bug zero? No, bugging up with that, and assess too. Oh, ouch, bitch. Alright, I can't heal. Oh, wait, I can use items in there. It's not like. Uh, fucking. Cult sensor. This should be easy. Subdue! Ooh, motherfucker. He subdued me! I'm subdued, yo! I am subdued! Marm, I like how Cloud's uh, sword got purple so as to match your, your theme. And kind of like my life, I love purple. It's the best color, y'all! And I shall not hear. <laughs> you know, I will not I will not be willing to listen to any argument otherwise. Um, but yeah, it's really nice that we got it the same night we got the theme thing going, isn't it? I think there's a skin thingy where I can actually keep on wearing that sword till the end, even if I'm actually wearing another sword, but we'll see about that. But if there is, I'll definitely do that. Same in fucking Ever Crisis, when that sword comes out, fuck, I'm jumping on that shit. Alright, time for the green! Silk is got final round, unknown error. This is Bug Zero. A solo bout in which you pick your fighter. Defeat the fiend and Brooklyn. Warning! Unknown error occurred. Complete in bout to resolve issue. Let's fucking go. But yeah, I love that sword. Like I was saying, in um, 16, they added with the DLCs, like you could just make the uh, original. Ultimate weapon glow different colors and one of the two I want to say oh It's test zero and not bug zero That's who's telling uh, that's who's not being truthful and fucking Raiden was right as he tends to be that annoying motherfucker I Could have probably told if I remember the translation from OG and the fact that it was test zero and not and not bug zero Alright test zero a test subject that managed to escape from Shinra's R&D division due to a developers oversight Low-key reference to uh, les frelons asiatiques. How do you even call that? There's this species of insects in France, in Europe, I think, that are ruining everything. And it's literally the, the, the origin story for it is that it was uh, researchers in biology just messed up and let them escape, and they made their way to Europe, and now they're fucking us up. He has since acquired the faculty of speech, however stilted, by mindlessly perverting all that it hears. Wait, do I want to kill this 
person or do I want to have a chat with them? A chat and a beer? He can talk? I'm down for that. When HP is low, it will play dead. When in this state, attacking it and with blocking or evading its subsequent counter strikes will pressure it. Oh my god, this is wrong on so many levels. We're fighting a dog that speaks and then we plays dead. What we want to do is keep hitting it? That ain't right! That ain't right, Square Enix! Oh, I do need to use that. Let's just try it. Them fights are too easy anyway. No, my piece. Si tu veux monter, tu montes par devant. Okay. Ouch. It did get me with the thunder up. But I do like the purple sword skill. Which version of that? Sorry, old. My cat is complaining about my, my uh, what do you call it? The way I'm sitting because she can't come into my lap. Alright, it's playing Dead Cloud, knows when we hit it. I hate it. I hate it so much! Shit, alright. Oh, I don't have... I don't have spell... Uh, items, I mean. Uh, let's not be stupid then. What the fuck? You ain't got nothing. No, you don't. I still have the enemy skill material equipped on my... Ooh, did you guys see that dodge? Am I good at this game or what? There we go. God damn it. Where did I get the other buffs? Oh, come on! Yeah, you do. No, we need to go back in with a healing material is what we need to get out. I think this is an L, brother. That's high. Ooh, or is it now? Do I have Infinity Zen yet? I don't think I do. Just spam Braver, I guess? Or maybe... This fire oh that's that's all right we're gonna get it who's bad not bad Marm, wasp I think yeah but do we call it Asian wasp this this is literally what we call it in French Colon Asiatic is like Asian wasp which also um, I think the um, I think the the origin story of that thing was in the Americas, not Asia at all. So it's like, you know, the whole China virus thing where it's like, we call them Fono Asiatic when they're really not Asian by any means, or maybe one of the species that were crossbred or whatever, but you know. But yeah, I don't know if that's the term in, uh, in uh, English, yeah. Sorry all, just one quick second. How do I, uh, blah, 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 blah. Huh. Where are my mud tools? Asian killer hornets. Yes. Well, that sounds exactly like the um, like what we're talking about. In any case, I don't know if this is it or not. How do I? All right. All right. All right. That'll do the trick. Sorry about that, y'all. Um. Yeah, I'm guessing, I'm guessing we're talking about the same thing. Also, Purple 13, fuck man. You know, I was talking yesterday about how I love the uh, reskin where it's just black, it's just a recolor. Um, the one that went with the Tifa guide outfit for Red 13. If there really is a Purple 13, you know, that's where, that's what I want to spend my Brooklyn tools on, not some stupid fucking Monster Hunter shit. They are a Japanese giant hornet. Well then, they might not be the one we're thinking of. Uh, sorry, old quick, um, hey, you know, what is it called, like, learn while having fun or something, uh, let me just look up the French Wikipedia page, huh, you know what, I was talking out of my ass, uh, you are absolutely right, we're talking about the same thing, I guess, and you're right, Raiden, they are actually, 
um, native of Asia. Afghanistan, India, China, and Indonesia. So it's another Asian hornet or Asian predatory wasp. Dark Star costume for red. Fuck yes! I'm so <laughs> again. I'm so down for that. And of course, Shinra Trooper uniform for red. I want all three. I'm gonna. Uh, uh, you know, I'm spending. I'm spending my blue crystals on all three. Uh, they are the ones who are infesting everywhere. All right. All right. Well, my bad. Um, I was mixing two things up. We're definitely talking about the same thing, the three of us. Um, and they are indeed Asian, so I was wrong on that. That being said, there is another species of invasive, you know, bee or wasp or hornet. Um, that, that is literally that, like, experiments gone, that got released, and uh, I'm gonna put it in my little notes. It's like, you all know I'm not crazy, um, but what do I write? Because if it's like Shinra dude, I never look it up, because it won't make no sense to me. Um, GMO Ornets, question mark, question mark, question mark. There you go, there you go, there you go. Just angry flying fuckers. Um, yo, Raiden, do you want... Do you want mod privileges? I'd be honored to have you on as a mod. I don't want to just throw it on you without asking you. But if you're down, you know, you're in. You're in, brother. Look at you go. Be sure to check out some of our other contests, too. If you're in the market for a little danger. You got more. You looking to play with some monsters? You looking to play with some monsters? He does have more. Noble Thief's Gloves. Alright, yo, if you don't mind, I say we do the rest of the side content first. Because this is the sort of shit I don't mind doing off stream. Uh, if we've got time... Yeah, we've got barely more than an hour to go, so I think we'll I'll save that for off stream so that we can do the rest of the Coral Prison stuff. I can ban the bots? Fuck yeah, man, that's uh, that's a lot of uh, what I'd be hoping you'd do. Not like it means much yet. Yeah, just, um, you know, just People just give me a sec, Raiden. I'm on my way to glory. You'll see, you'll see. Wonder if it's any better for him than standard brushdown. Maybe I'll give it a try with Pico. Hey, Billy, how about you keep your ends well the fuck away from my chocobo? Why did you bring it in the desert, Billy? What were you doing? I'm not sure you're an adequate caretaker for Pico, okay? I realize you're a kid, but then again, should you be caring for people as a kid? Um, alright, so I'll totally unmod you after the stream, Raiden, and thank you for, uh, thank you for accepting. I am... Welcome to the team. Look at all that purple hair. I'm jealous. You motherfuckers, I want that. Snitching about what? What are you guys doing? Jeez, that was not suspicious before you said that, you weirdo. Oh, I actually saw that side dialogue. The whole Gus actually wrote a book or had a book written. Very good sign about meditated meditation, I guess. Interesting. Inter See, don't judge a book by its cover, y'all. That'll teach me. That'll teach me. It wasn't exactly like he planned to collapse in the desert. Sure, I hear that, but what exactly was he planning to do in the middle of the desert with a chocobo? You know what I'm saying? Like, no, no. Yeah. Fuck you, Billy, for putting for putting my pico in 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 danger, make placing him. In Wait, how do you say? Putting him in a dangerous situation. Alright, that's not okay, Pico. Alright, alright, there's still a whole sub area we haven't visited, then we'll go to the QB. Unless we fall into another. Um, I'm still. <laughs> Meditation on the Outlaw Life. An autobiography by Gus. Oh, oh it's an autobiography. That's right. That's right. It ain't. It ain't actually about meditation. If you're looking to get or stronger, is it? I don't know. Has everything you'll need. I don't know what Gus does on his off time. 
Yeah, no, we good, thank you. My store will always be open to you. They say you can sell sand. No need to say House of Cards. I already know your story. You're on the hunt for chocobo greens, am I right? Well, I'd be willing to scratch your back, provided you'd be willing to scratch mine. My casino happens to be plagued by a gaggle of rather eccentric Queen's Blood players. I'd love it if someone could take them down a notch or two. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right up my alley, CC. I'll handle it. Holy Much shit, do you guys see that kid dressed up as a Dunbury behind? Though they are, they play a mean game. So mean that it's scary. Don't worry, I play a meaner game. I need someone to get out there and prove they can be beaten. Got three troublemakers in total. Still looking for action, no doubt. Thanks in advance. Before you go, though, you should take a look at the cards I have for sale. I guarantee they'll come in handy. Yep, I want all of them, sir. Which is the one I don't have yet, but you know, I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, Queen's Blood side quest. Yes. Oops, sorry, sir. Didn't mean to. Oh, and I bet we can play against the man himself once we're done with the lousy rondos. Okay, what's your story? Oh my God, is it Chadley? This is the horrible! So I decided to disguise myself. How did I do? Costumes like these are known to elicit a common effect. <laughs> so I should be safe. Unfortunately, we can't say the same for Bear. I'm confident of his innocence though, and I will do everything in my power to help prove it. Yo, while we're uh, here talking to Chad, I if you guys have been um, on some of my last... I think it's mainly on the Rebirth streams I was talking about this. I went on this wireless theory about Chadley that has actually been canonically proven false by my um, remake trophy cleanup. He does not seem to have any direct uh, link to Vice other than recreating him. It's just, he's just, you know, my initial theory. He's like an AI that becomes self-aware in part thanks to us and what we did in remake and really hates Ojo and is out to get Shinra now. I still think May is Chad and he is gender fluid and trying to uh, come to grasp with that, but that is another theory. <laughs> Looking for a place oh fuck, to hold up. yes. You found it. Um, thank you Raiden for reminding me. Actually Elemental and especially HP Absorb, right? So that I can try out that early build you were talking about during my test stream. Totally forgot. See, I'm so fucking cheap with limited currencies that I tend just not to spend them. Alexander, the sacred mechanical fortress of Corel, I encourage you to pick your skills against the summoned entity so that I might complete its mechanics. Sure, 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 sure. Give me a HP absorption, brother. Yeah. Oh fuck, we want ATB boost as well. Gravity? What does it do? Does it like slow them down or something? Allows an ally to automatically use weapon abilities when not actively controlled during battle. Nah, it's for noobs. I ain't noob. I'm gonna get gravity. I don't even know what it does. And I think I want two ATB boosts. That was I like that shit so much in remake. Elemental plus whatever on weapon for elemental damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, that that is my plan. That is my plan. Uh, Raiden is. We're gonna do that right now. Enemy skill and HP absorb. Fuck yeah, now we're set up. Now we're set up, y'all. What do I have to give up? I don't even know. Probably not important. Oh, but we do have the ATB boost material that I want to start leveling up. I don't use magic. Let's get rid of that. At least one. Then just use Plasma Discharge at the start of battle. Yep, next battle we're gonna try that shit. I'm really excited about it. It sounds like an amazing build. Uh, the double elemental materials work for elemental. It won't heal as much till you level it up, but it'll be a nice boost. Yeah, I'm gonna... Actually, my... Uh, I don't know if you saw, my enemy skill is at fucking 4 star already. So, you yeah, know, there's that. Oh, wait, you mean... Sorry, you mean the HP absorption. 
We'll work on that. We'll work on that. Um, and you're saying I should... Yeah, but I don't have Elemental yet, right? Um, because I've been slacking on site content because I haven't seen Chadley in fucking forever. I'll do all that off stream, y'all. Let's keep uh, going through the, the uh, Coral Prison content. Where does this asshole Gus Coates live? I mean, yeah, that's probably for later, right? You wouldn't last longer than a day out there, pretty boy. Fuck you, bitch. I'll Does dare you. We get dibs on your pals? Jesus, you're a first dude. You're making a run for it, are you? You know what? Yeah, come at me. What you gonna do? Oh, nothing apparently. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Or, oh, please tell me I can't explore the whole desert area before we even get to the that point in the story. Otherwise, my OCD will want to do it. But no, probably not. It looks like oh, look at this. Is this like underwater uh, crafting materials? Am I gonna learn how to dive? And hey, Raiden, thanks a lot for the, the tips again. Like, you know, like I was saying during my test stream, I'm so fucking worried about River of Spoilers that I've watched nothing, like, you know, I don't go online for anything related to Rebirth. I've even stopped watching some of the streamers I really enjoyed watching because they've been playing Rebirth. And, and you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm totally out of the loop when it comes to, like, smart builds and shit like that. So I really appreciate your tips, man. Thanks a lot. And I do suck at combat, so... <laughs> and a little bit helps. Alright, we good. Nothing to see here. You can spam disorder during battle to get hella spam or just fight normally. I do like... So, you know, like, when I struggle with a fight, I do like having an easy way out of it, if that makes any sense. I'm not, you know, I'm definitely not... Uh, what do you call it? not above using that sort of mechanics because again i and i'm here for a story and the fun with y'all guys not the um i enjoy the combat but you know what i'm saying like it's not my main thing it's like the vice fight in in remake i'm just gonna go with this one build that uh, i feel most people are using online and shit you know it's fine by me um so i'm absolutely you know willing to use like uh disorder to abuse disorder if i'm stuck on the fight just so that we can move forward on the story Plus my discharge is just, just the rebirth version of Deadly Dodge. Yeah, you said last time, man. And the funny thing is that I've never used Deadly Dodge. You know, my thinking when I equip materials is that I never dodge or guard. I'm just shit at it. Just like, you know you know how I roll in, in Ever Crisis, right? Just throw P attack on everything and throw my Tifa at it and, and things hopefully work out. They usually do. You know what I'm saying? Um, I do the same in Remake Rebirth where I'm like, if any materia seems to be linked or, or related to dodging or guarding i'm like yeah fuck that i ain't gonna do that shit um so that's why i totally missed that there was a great deadly dodge hp absorption meter because i've never used deadly dodge in, in remake but yeah the uh the plasma charge version of it sounds awesome i really like that it's a uh, kind of passive heal if that makes any sense for all those fights where i don't have items i feel like it's really something that will fit my stupid you know, like, kill before you get killed. Oh shit. I knocked something off and disturbed the silence. Also, I didn't read this or hear the side dialogue because I was rumbling. The fuck was that? Can I try it again? Oh, because it's called Dead Silent. You're not supposed to make noise. I mean, if you don't like noise, sir, why do you have all this shit in the way? Get your ass out of here! I told you, be quiet or beat it. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna Get go. I'm gonna go take a nap, and I'll be back with you. Okay, sir. Sorry. The ATB defense material is OP in rebirth on NPCs since they auto guide. God. Yeah, I have been using that a little bit, I must say. Uh, you know, the fact that if I'm not actively playing them, like for instance, the way I got through the uh, Gold Saucer fights with Red, whom I can't play for shit, is by using the fact that the AI will actually guard for me, and then... Um, 
so up. And then, you know, I can get his vengeance in and get self-heal type shit. Um, so that's, again, that's not something I'm, I'm above using. Um, okay, let's go back to the inn, rest, and then try the weapon store again. Then we can do the QB thing. And I'm still missing... Where is the... Uh, where those guys live? Because we're supposed to find the stamp. Oh, and also beat up those motherfuckers. That's right. So much to do, yo. So much to do. Let's start with the inn and weapon shop. You did the same thing first try? That makes me feel a lot better, dude. I often have that feeling, you know, again, ironically for a um, self... Um, what do you call it? Self... Um, bro... Fuck's sakes. Self-proclaimed! Self-proclaimed Final Fantasy nerd. The way I play Final Fantasy games is usually so fucking stupid. Like, again, you know, I don't even like magic. I'm usually all about the physical builds and just trying to, you know, just zerg the shit out of monsters before I need to worry about mechanics. Which, you know, I don't want to say that that's exactly what this is, but I do feel like my 11 background was a lot of that. Like, for a great long while, at the time where, in my humble opinion, 11 endgame was the most interesting, Zerging was the main meta. Like, we just throw physical deeps at things and try and kill them, you know, like, kill them so fucking fast that nothing bad could happen to us. And I feel like now that's the way I play every single Final Fantasy game, or game. The rare times where I play other games, I'm always like, you know when you have, like, character progression shit, like, level up, where do you put the stats? I'm always like, physical attack, physical attack. Just, you know, it can't hurt me if it's dead, right? Make a peep and you're gone. That's a promise. Mm-hmm. Well, fuck. Yo, Raiden, he does not sell potions, he sells an elixir. Is that what she meant? Also, should I buy it? He's got only one in stock and I think it's, like, a very limited item. But also, I don't... Items are for noobs. Fuck that. I'm saving my gear for cards. I can make noise, noise now, right? <laughs> Fuck you, sir. Alright. Now, where does the asshole live? Oh, there was something about the bar as well. Do they have Cosmo Canyons? We know they do, but... I still want to check it. Where even is the bar? Here I guess. Yep. Oh, I've actually never been in the bail jumper proper. It was like in the concert zone. Is it bad that this feels like a place I want to hang out in? Welcome to bail jumper. Watering hole for the dregs of the dust bowl. But you're in the market for some greens. Sure, sir. Maybe. If so, I've got a garden up on the cliff. Everything's yours for the taking. Oh, money kind of, yeah. Assuming there's anything to take, I've intended to it in ages. Here, go see for yourself. Be sure to keep an eye out for fiends, though. The place is crawling with This is interesting. And a bit confusing. Found the one place around here that had a spot of green. But the road there's so rough, I stopped going. I haven't tended to those plants in ages. But I'm sure something's still alive. So see, I was talking about how I get the feeling the that, um... I haven't tended to those plants in ages. In the R I'm timeline, sure at least. Maybe in the other ones, it just wasn't made explicit. But the, uh, Corel prison people were the ones taking care of the Chocobo. That's why there's this whole thing about greens are a commodity and stuff, right? This is a Cosmo Canyon. Is he gonna drink it? Oh yeah, Cloud, that's my boy! That's right, bro! Go wild a little! Live a little, Cloud! Like a guy who can hold his liquor. That's our house specialty. Call it sunshine. We take moonshine and water it down so the flavor's just still perceptible. I'm stupid, yo. I, uh, I, I took the whole thing, um... It's like they're all lying but one. The one thing the truth is the one about the memoirs. That's why we get, you know, it's not potions that he's sending at the weapons shop, it's elixirs. That's why there's no bug zero, it's a test zero. They do sunshines, they don't do Cosmo Canyons. And then I guess uh, it's not gonna be a stamp. A stamp uh, graffiti is gonna be some other kind of graffiti. But yeah, 
So they're all, you know, they care for the chocobos. It seems to be a big part of their livelihoods and shit. Um, It's a monster, right? Some sort of griffin? Who the fuck is that talking? And again, with the, if y'all will allow me a little uh, Morgan Zanon moment there with the fucking obsessing over, you know, mundane shit. It's always really, I find it really interesting um, playing Final Fantasies, but I bet you could do the same thing with other video games where there's some sort of, you know, like, global currency thing of, like, you know, working out what exactly, what that would translate to in in, um, in real life, if that makes any sense, right? Um, and again, I realize it's one of those things where the, the obvious answer is it doesn't make any sense worrying about this shit. The devs didn't think about this shit. Stop thinking about this shit, Morgan Zanon. But that ain't what we do on this year channel, okay? We worry about this shit and we go for the Watsonian uh, explanation all the time. And when there isn't one, it just means you haven't thought about it hard enough because there always is one, right? And, you know, in 14, we were talking about 14 earlier. Shit, I've got all my beautiful transition shit that's 14 themed. I really love that conversation when it happens amongst 14 players of like, how much is a gill? How rich are we? How do we, how does the Warrior of Light, your player character, make money? You know, do the science actually give him a salary? You know what I'm saying? All of those questions I find really interesting if you, again, I realize that, especially, I think in 14's case, it's an MMO. The answer, the, the dolliest explanation probably is, the devs never thought about it, don't think about it. But I like thinking about it, all right? And one of the most interesting ways I found that people have tried to sort of like get an estimate on just how much a gill is worth in 14 Seriously. is with the housing market so like you can buy houses in 14 right like Lum Lum bought me a house and that sort of gives us a vague clue on okay that much money means a small plot so does it make sense that all those other things would be priced this much you know is it because my player character in 14 is rich as fuck that I'm supposed to assume that the warrior of light canonically is rich as fuck from just being a warrior of light again you know what does he buy his food with? Holy shit snacks. Yeah, I'm still gonna get the rest of it first though. Where are you at? Oh. That's right. There we go. Fuck up him, frog. Fuck you, Emmanuel Macron. That's what you did to my people, bitch. Um, yeah, anyway. Back to so Gil in seven, I find extremely interesting because all all timelines I'm talking. Um, there's this whole thing at the beginning where Cloud is a merc; he doesn't care about the ethics or the fight or anything. He just wants money, right? And so we get that as a hard, you know, um, what do you call it? The thing you use to measure what something is worth. En italien, en français, like it gives us a rough idea of how much. Uh, a few thousand gil is worth and then you know I don't know if you guys were here but when I saw that the price on our heads like I think Tifa plus Barret plus Cloud was like 100k and I'm like that's not a lot at all it's crazy we f we blew up two reactors we literally invaded Shinra HQ we fucked you guys up and all you're offering is is 100k gil you know like I am I have 50k on me, I've been buying all the cards and, and tombs and... You know what I'm saying, like, it's, it just doesn't feel like a lot of money. I find it really interesting that in Coral Prison, of all places, where obviously they've got this whole, you know, like, um... 
assessed. What are you... You don't like wind attacking the aura that shrouds them will produce tornadoes. The aura will weaken with each tornado spawn and once it has vanished, the drake will become pressured. Attacking from behind will weaken the aura without creating tornadoes. I want to attack it from behind. Okay. I also want to use my new... Raiden approved meta. Let's see how this goes. And so yeah, in Coral Prison, where again, granted they have their own side economy going and stuff. I'm sure there's a lot of guilt going in. And again, you know, in the art timeline, it's it's a lot clearer that the gold saucer, at least the whole um, Chocobo racing uh, rig is totally dependent and interlaced with the Coral Prison economy. But all that being said, Yes, there might be a lot of money actually floating around this prison. But still, you know, like they're gonna they're gonna just like we just walk by random occurrence of us happening to hear an auction going on for a random ass monster. And folks are gonna go like 20k. And you know, it, nobody's gonna go like <gasps> you know, where did you get that kind of money? Like it seems like business as usual in Coral Prison, right? Which means that a hundred K for the free we should be number one fucking notorious PIG, right? Like fucking hell. It's not a lot of money. Fuck Shinra. Shinra, Shinra being stingy with, with how much money they're willing to hang out for people that, that catch us. And I guess you you could say, yes, but if you've been paying attention. Our timeline, uh, Rufus is actually a lot less aggressive towards the gang than he is in the OG Ever Crisis timelines. Sure, but still, like, he's also rich as fuck, right? Why would he not... No, I feel like that's not where I wanted to go, clown. Why would he not offer more? Surely, if 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 people got us out of their fucking... Out of the way, that would be... Oh, no, it is where we wanted to go. Good shit, good shit. Yeah, let's go get the crafting materials. Oh, and now I'm lost again. Ima imagine the strength of that man to grab that mid hair. I know, there's so much, you know in Remake, uh, during all the, let's start with the other area first, so that we go after the capture next. Um, at some point, like, Tifa catches Barret or something, there's a lot of, you know, how are you doing, or just like characters pulling each other up from little cliffhangers, and I very often, during our, our Remake playthrough, I very often went like, you know, suspension of disbelief and all, like, you guys have materia, use magic, maybe there's something... You know, physics might not work the same way, but like, I don't think you could have pulled up that person just like that easily. Like, it's not an easy thing to do to just wait somebody up and like, you know, actually like carry him back to 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 your uh, solid ground. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's alright. Again, suspension of disbelief. They had the right material on at the time. That's that's what that's what was going on there. Exactly, exactly, man. Where's our real life materia? You had your chance. Oh shit, what am I literally dying right now? Good thing is I can use my items for once. Okay. Second win. Second win. Did I? Yes, they're assessed. Gotta be careful. All right, that was unnecessarily painful. Uh, you know, I have so many. I, don't I thought like the shit I craft, I'd have a lot more of. But that's right. Let's just pop all them potions. They'll be useless in the um. Hard mode, new playthrough. Yes, equipping a healing materia would have been faster and cheaper, but whatever works, whatever works. I don't want to menu again. We've been menuing way too much tonight. But yeah, and also really, again, you know, in the same vein as like trying to make sense of an in-game economy. I really like the whole, or well, I guess it depends. It depends. Um, 
I think the uh, lower community with 14 sometimes get too hung up on that whole like power level question. Like, you know, DBZ fucking uh, thingy of like how strong are we exactly, who should we be able to take on, who shouldn't we be able to take on and stuff. And they often those conversations, the sort that I, I'm not too fond of. I love that, you know, people should have the conversations they want to have about Final Fantasy lore. I'm not no one to say, you know, what is worth talking about, what isn't, but Still, not my favorite, personally speaking, just a matter of taste, but in any case, you know. Uh, people often raise the question of, like, in-world, like, the, the 14 lore is that at this point in the story, we are, you know, we are essentially a one-man army. We are a weapon of mass destruction. We we fucked up so many gods. There is so very little that, that supposedly any regular person could do against us. And then, which is, again, true, and I think they've done a great... Again, this is, like, I'm not saying that any power level... Um, discussion when it comes to Final Fantasy is stupid or not worth having. That's not what I'm saying. I love some of them when they're done in what I personally think is the right way. And I actually love that 14 story went out of its way to give you that feeling of, you know, you're not just rando adventurer who gets caught up in the middle of the whole thing. Like, you are, you know, you're a ridiculously strong political figure. Everybody's very aware of how powerful you are and everybody's scared of you. And I love that you know, it's become a part of the uh, 14 MSQ. Don't want to say too much about it, but there are some scenes that are extremely explicit about that. Like, you know, your presence actually freaks people out. Like, fucking, you know, there are many people that run a country that realize they're only doing it because you, as the Warrior of Light, let them, if that makes any sense. And I love that. Uh, but then, you know, there's this discussion, uh, recurring discussion in the lower circles of the 14 community. Ooh, there's a lot of captures. I'm gonna have to kill them, aren't I? Or is it gonna be a minigame? Nope! It's definitely murder! And we need to assess them. Um, where, yeah, people go like, alright, so how are they going to justify in Dumb Trail that the minute you walk out of the, you know, into the first overworld area, there's gonna be monsters that could kill you if you weren't careful when you're supposed to be this semi god thing? And people try the Watsonian explanation of maybe people are just naturally stronger in the new world than they were on our home continent, which I don't... I'm all for Watsonian explanations, but no, that's not what this is. Anyway, you know what I'm saying. When it comes to Seven, it's really interesting too, right? Like, Cloud is this ex-first soldier, he's supposed to be another level. But yet, in gameplay, your Tifa can essentially be stronger than him, or any other character, right? Yuffie, if you ask me, you know, if you don't know how to play the game really well, Yuffie is the best character to play, because she's just so fucking powerful. And again, in world, like, she's this elite ninja kid from Wutai, but see, she's still a kid, you know what I'm saying? And, um, so yeah, you can have that question. And I do feel like, again, in world, there seems to be sometimes they worry about Aerith a lot more than they worry about any other of the game. Like, there seems to be... Oh, shit, has my camera been turned off this whole time? I'm sorry, y'all, I forgot. Not I realized it, though. I'll, I'll keep it off for a minute, and then I'll come back and show you my uh, ugly mug, like Ricky says. But, yeah. Uh, I feel like in-world, there's this whole implication that everybody thinks Aerith is weaker than them. In combat, at least, like, you know, in a dangerous situation where we're actually fighting monsters, we should be more worried about Aerith than any of the rest of the gang. And so one interesting question is that I feel like, you know, one could ask, wait, why is Tifa... Why does Tifa not also, um, you know, why is Tifa not also cause for concern? You know what I'm saying? Again, Yuffie is, or at least she claims to be, uh, an elite member of the Wutayan army. Who the fuck knows what Red's deal is, but sure, like, you know, he can, he can fight, alright? Barret has been leading a, a terrorist, you know, splinter cell of a main, um, of the main anti-powers B group. He's got a gun arm, he's a general badass, sure. Why is Tifa, you know, Tifa's, isn't Tifa like a bartender from Nibelheim? And actually, no, if you, if you look at her backstory, we know that she was one of Zangen's, uh, pupils. And in Ever Crisis, we got that little flashback where, like, when she arrived in Midgar, she didn't have many friends, she kind of struggled to find her place. And so sort of all she did, all didn't work, was train. So, you know, there is an explanation in world for why Tifa can be this absolute monster. And I really love that. Again, you know, to me, this is power level done right. Is that it's not just, all right, you know, it's a gameplay mechanic that you have a bunch of, you have a lot of playable characters and they, they are all equally powerful because otherwise the game is boring. 
Actually, no, like Fire Emblem does it really, really well to have weak characters and shit. But you know, anyway, you know what I'm saying. But no, there is there are explanations in world for why why every single member of our cast is an absolute beast when it comes to just killing people and shit. And I'd even say Cloud is surprisingly I feel like in um when you play OG it feels like hey again cat welcome back welcome back what time is it actually all right we've only got half an hour left i should focus i should focus more um but yeah i ooh these motherfuckers hurt fuck you all i feel like when you play og or ever crisis story mode you have that feeling that cloud is ridiculously strong compared to you know the average joe that's a lot less true in uh, in remake rebirth like We've seen him get knocked out so many times, you know what I'm saying? Like again, just like a bat to the head and he's 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 out. You're supposed to be like this crazy ass fucking you know what I'm saying? You all know what I'm saying? Like it's funny, I think that I feel like if anything in the our timeline, Cloud's power level is a lot you know, it's toned down a whole lot from what it is in OG. Which is interesting, don't get me wrong, I love a main character that's not a ridiculous powerhouse, but I find it interesting that they go, they go that route. Focus! Yes, yes, you're right. We've got only half an hour left. Let's try and get as much stuff done as we can in that time frame. We got some greens. We've got a new area to explore, but it's a zip line. It's gonna take us right back to a whole new other place. Did I explore everything else? I feel like I did, right? Before we came to this little capture area. The other one was another way back down, I think. Let's just let's just hit the zip line. What is it? oh yeah, nothing. Alright, let's go. Focus! I love zip lines. Where the fuck am I? Have we been here? I feel like we've been. Oh! Looks like we haven't! So, how do people generally get up here? The only way in is the uh, fireman pull down. And where's the music coming from? Oh, from down there because it's gonna be the. Yes, I did! But, you know, point taken, Billy, but Pico deserves the very, very best, and we're gonna get him all the greens. Um, we've been through there, what is that? Yep, that's just fucking up the card players. We know, oh yeah, no, I wanted to check the, I believe the auction house is probably where uh, Gus Coates lives. So we can look out for a... Um, Graffiti there. Where was it? Where was it again? Not that way, I don't think. It was over here. Just wanna see what the non stem graffiti is. Shit, where was his house? Uh, okay, where's the. This is where the. Um, I think it's that way. It's where the Cactuar side quest sort of started, and the auction house was right before that. What is that? That's the... There, there it is, there it is. Alright, graffitis. Sore. What is that? Reckless? Is that what you guys are reading? I don't know. And there's a random black cat instead of stamp, and I guess that's what uh, the liar was was referring to. All right, all right, I'm happy with that. We can wrap up the um, ten thousand. You heard me. We can wrap up the uh, who's telling the truth side quest. On the way there, let's go beat up the creeps who want to follow us. <laughs> Look who's come waltzing back. Yep. You got it. Just straight ahead. Sure, follow me, assholes. <laughs> Nothing in 
interesting over there. Where do you think you're going? Let's resume our constitution. Is that the place? <laughs> oh, come on. I don't fight. Okay, last time I exited through here and they stopped following. So I'm guessing we need to go through Nothing there. Interesting over there. What you going that way for, man? Oh no! Where can we have at it? Just pull out your fucking knives. Or guns or whatever. That way, right? Literally said straight ahead. There we go. Alright, come at me, motherfuckers. And here we are. Now we can have a nice private talk without anyone button in. <laughs> it's time you got a lesson in the way things work around here. Don't worry, you can thank us later. <laughs> Raiden, we're, not go we're never gonna leave the gold saucer chat. You know, you're being unfair, Raiden. We did leave the gold saucer. This is Coral Prison, it's not gold saucer. Unscrupulous and rapacious thugs who operate out of the Dust Bowl. They're in a number of crooked schemes, all of which are designed to join unwitting guests of the Gold Saucer. Let's bring that elemental weakness, then we fire. Okay. Alright, we can do that. I also want to use my plasma discharge. And then fireball blade. You just confirmed we're still in the gold saucer with that Lord uh, Guests of the gold saucer, that's us. Yeah, yeah, you are. When you're right, you're right. Let's see, we're having fun! Ain't that all that matters at the end of the day, y'all? You know, it's one of those things where, like, earlier I was complaining about how I'm gonna have to redo everything when I do the hard mode playthrough. You know, you could have just told us you were out of our league. I mean, uh, thanks for the match. It was a real learning experience, wasn't it, boys? <laughs> oh, right. But we got something special for you a gift to remember us by. Here. And with that, we'll hurry up and get out of your hair. Hi, boys. Very sorry to have troubled you, but we won't do it again. Promise. See, that was that was uh, nice and easy. In and out. Twenty minutes adventure, Morty. There were some crafting materials. One there. Yes. One. A chunk of zinc ore. <laughs> Ideally, it'd give Pico an edge and be pleasing to the eye. Our boys want a handsome bird, you know. We want equipment that'll accentuate his features. And not uh, his feathers. <laughs> Alright, QB time! QB time, yo! This is the best part about these streams, in it? Oh, wait, should we go wrap up the uh, liar, liar, pens on fire side quest? Because we might get more dialogue. And since we've got half an hour left, I guess I could do the um, QB of stream. So let's start with that. Let's start with that. Which one is that? Oh, that's just feeding Pico. Okay. So definitely bug zero. No. No, 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 no. The book is the truth. Every single other one was a lie. All right, let's just go through it again real quick. No, they don't. They serve a sunshine. You liar! You've been to the weapon shop? No, they don't. They sell an elixir. You gotta check out Garf's autobiography. Oh wait, underling? You gotta check out Garf's autobiography. Wasn't it Outlaw Life? On the underling life. It's at the local. Hey, did you see the stamp graffiti? He may be a pup, but he sure looks like a hero. It was a black cat. You should test your might in the beast battle. And it was Test Zero. They've got a rare monster named. Well, do you think you can? Give me a second, yeah. The truth is out there, as they say. We're just gonna go back to the announcer because I have a. 
And I'm not positive that the auction house is actually um, Gus's place. And it could be that, you know, it's one of those things where we can't actually reach it. But that's what the truth was. Or oh, is there a stamp graffiti anywhere? Insert pseudo intellectual message here, smiley face. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, what was the announcer? Yeah, next to the Magana's book place. That's the one. <laughs> Blown man beats up fucks for weed 2024. Right, yeah. Oh boy, Cloud, you know. He gets high. I'm sure. I'm sure he does. Fucking, uh. Fucking. He, he been huffing that Mako for years. Alright. Of the outlaw life. This is also a lie. He did write a book, but that's not what it's called. So I'm guessing the stem graffiti is the truth. But then where the fuck is his house? I feel like we should be able to see that stem graffiti. Where is the place where I could... That way, that way. Next to the other elevator. And it also makes sense that he'd live right next to an elevator, right? Right? And there's nothing much going on there apart from us not being able to ride the other elevator. Destination. Oh shit, I keep forgetting I have the uh that map. One, two, three, four, five. And we're at God I hate those things. Okay, that's not where we wanna be though. Cause this is this bit, so everything is there. Why why did we get the destination reach message? What destination? What's here? You'll agree, right, that this map right there is only this section of the town. This is the L building that we see. And this is the little bit that goes up towards the garden. With one out there. Which one was the uh, graffiti person again? Was it number four? Raiden, this has multiple different solutions by the way, so there's like five different options for multiple playthroughs. Oh fuck me. Are they like all lying? Actually, you know, the uh <laughs> when we went to his seminar, the dude was saying like never tell the truth. So I could totally see it that the test is that none of them are telling the truth. But still, you know, I'm gonna go with the one I feel is like the closest to the truth, which I think is number four. It's kind of weird, but that's yes. a picture of stamp. I swear, it looks like it could jump out. So let's go see. <laughs> I feel like we should be able to spot a stamp um, graffiti. If they're all kind of telling the truth, but also no. And then the lesson will be some bullshit like any good life has a, you know, zest of truth in it or some shit. Wouldn't that make a lot of sense? Oh, wise! What a proof! Oh, blood captain! I'll be right back at you, little motherfucker. Oh, and we can rest it for a spell. For a spell. Looking for a place. Yes. Oh, I think I never finished my point with the uh, bartender telling us about his garden and shit. This is weird. If if greens are this big commodity, that means a lot. Why would he, you know, we're the first strangers who come in. He's all like, oh, I haven't had time to tend to my garden. So if you can get anything out of it, good. Like, sure, that's just, you know, like a nice person who hasn't had time to tend to their garden. That's what they do. That's what I do. I haven't had time to tend to my garden. But why us? Surely there are people he knows from running the bar that would have more use for it than we do. Here's the stamp! Here's the stamp graffiti. Where is his house though? Down with Agumla. Save yourself. Alright, alright. Let's go and just... What are we saying though? What is our strategy, y'all? Um, we know that they're all lying. I feel like the stem... Let's check out what she says about the stem graffiti exactly. She's all like, he looks heroic or some shit. 
Hopefully it goes like, tell me why each one of them is lying and that will be a lot better for the intel we've gathered. Shit, where is it? Here. Alright, alright, alright. We good, we good, we got 20 minutes. Did you see the stamp? He may be a pup, but, but he, he sure, sure looks, looks like, like a, a hero. hero. <laughs> I, that sounds about right to me. I'm gonna go with number four. Do you think you can? Yes. You gotta check out Garf's autobiography, nope. Meditations on the Underling Life. Hey, did you see the yes. stamp graffiti over at Gus's crib? Congratulations. Their deception was no match for your powers of perception. Beware, my aspiring swindlers. Clever <laughs> ones like this we are did it, Reddit. Cool. But so long as you continue to train and apply yourselves, I can teach you to swindle even the toughest marks. Yes, yes sir. sir. As for you, rest assured that I am a man of my word. Those greens are hard to find in a place like this. Quite the handsome reward, wouldn't you say? Okay, so we... you better take home that trophy, you hear? Today's victory will be our stepping stone to the big one, the gold cup. I know Pico's ready to win it all, but are you? What are your motivation for bringing my bird in the middle of the desert, Billy? Was your whole, was your entire plan? Is this going according to your plan, you little shit? <laughs> so hard to find that you found four within like 20 minutes. Hey, cuz I'm a lore fiend, I, you know, I had it a long while back and I just wanted to actually see the stamp um, graffiti for myself. But no, I'm really, be right back, alright, alright. I'm really curious about what you were saying, Raiden, or, yeah, I'll tell you later. Um, alright, friends, I do believe that QB is all we have left in it, yep. I really do like, you know, it's the sort of thing, just like the Jesse backstory we got in Remake. Like this whole digging deeper into why exactly the, uh, should we start with the French dude? Yeah. Huh? May I help you? I mean, are you? Here to, that's going to be tricky. I'm a living statue, you see. I'm not supposed to move under any circumstances. I guess I could move my arms at least. Yeah, come get wrecked. You're going to regret making me come to life. Sure, bro. Replacement cards. You now own a replacement card which can only be placed on top of an ally card already placed on the board, effectively replacing them. Replacement cards have two major benefits. They do not require a rank to be placed. They can trigger cards whose ability only activate when destroyed. Some even have abilities that absorb the destroyed cards' power. Replacement cards are strong enough to turn the tide of battle if used correctly, so think long and hard about when and where you will play them. Aight. Um, and that being said, no, I'm gonna go with my usual deck. Just for the first, for our first go. Alright, yeah. Begin match. Yes. Alright, you be time! We're gonna mulligan the J unit and keep all the other ones. Typical Shinra Trooper security officer opener. What you got for me, Frenchman? How do you like them frogs? Wrong move. Oh shit, he's, he's killing his own cards to do some complicated combos. That's alright, that's alright, we got this. 
we can buff you up here. No, that gives him the opening. Or security officer. So they can only get one of them. Why do I have the Mandragora in my hand? I feel like I can do better than that. Okay, you get the middle lane, bitch, but check this out. You are done here. You can't play! Oh, unless you had replacement cards, I guess. But he doesn't, so we good. Okay, now we need to be smart about it. He's gonna make 10 points unless I can buff up my Chocobo enough, which probably we won't be able to. So we need to go over... That's probably a good idea. I want to get Titan in and I... F oh no, there we go. That gives us Titan on the top row. And we know the bottom row is a win. Boom. And... It's a wrap. We got this. We got this. We can probably... I think if we wanted to be clever about it, we could probably get the middle lane as well, but we don't need that to win, so let's just... Let's just wipe the floor with this motherfucker's franchise pants, yeah? Um, There we go. Nope, that's gonna buff him. Which we could get away with, but we're not going to. We can do that. We could just end here and win, but if we can play anything and we can, that's a better score just for just for show. Boom! Up yours, Pietro. There's this really cool uh, French fantasy novel, Les L'Art du Contrevent. One of the main characters is called Pietro. Which is funny, because it's very much not a French first name. Joker, when allied and enemy cards are destroyed, where is this... Nah, I don't play offensive. You completely demolish. Demolish, that's the word. Good, sir. But my so? I hope to join the Gold Saucer's grand stable of performers. That's why... I'm trying to hone my skills by purposely putting myself in the harshest of environments. But my winning streak was starting to draw negative attention, so maybe losing was for the best. Pietro, you realize I can see your I'll head bobbing, right? Yet. If you would like to play another game, just let Against you? No, man. Congratulations, Cloud. You have attained the rank of Blood Knight. And I have obtained intel on a new opponent for you. There is a somewhat mysterious player by the name of Novalon in North Corel. Having proven yourself as a knight, I believe you can defeat this formidable foe. Alright, Chad. Except I can't leave Cold Prison right now. Oh, but this might be the player I, I thought I missed, actually. You know what? Marie sounds like more fun than this dude. Let's start with Marie. Hmm? Oh, where have you been? I take it you're here to join me for a drink. Well, Look, this is me. This Look at uh, the number of fucking bottles on the you table. Party pooper. Fine, be that way. Guess we'll play Queen's Blood. Sure. <laughs> oh no, because I'm Mary, darling dear. And when I'm not so. Yo, Mary, how about we make it interesting? If any of us spills one of the bottles, we drink one bottoms up. 
Okay, let me just... Uh, I want to remove my... Mandragora. Because I feel like I probably have other, you know, death cards that are better. Lower, lower. Destroyed, destroyed, destroyed. Raise the power of light cards on affected types by two. And it's nice. It's a reverse uh, crystal and crab. crab. I like that a lot more. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. Oh yeah, isn't Mari to QB what Morgan Zaydon is to uh, Ever Crisis streaming, y'all? Ain't that, ain't that wonderful? Ain't that a sign? I don't realize. I have 15 cards in my deck. I don't realize what the odds of getting a uh, mulligan card again by the end is. There is 3 by 5. There's 15 cards on the board. And we both play on it. So unless there's a lot of distracted cards, you never get the mulligan cards back. So let's go with that. I could actually probably get away with mulliganing one of my security officers when I get both on the first uh, try. But we'll experiment with that later. I love this game so goddamn much. Which, right, nobody gets the buff. That's not too bad. But then again, this is even better. Like that. And we can get a free pawns on top lane. I don't know what Murray's preparing there, but let her let her let her do her thing. And we're just gonna go with that. Oh god, is she another one of those... When play oh! Oh, fuck you, Marie! Well played, okay. That one you fucked yourself over with, and you're just trying to get your death glow to a higher level. So I need to remember not to play on my two pawns uh, position there. Which is fine, because I can... Um I can spear hook there. She should not be able to get that bottom row. Where's that? What is that? What you doing, Marie? You were the power of enemy ties. Unaffected ties by three. What are you doing, girl? What is that? Are we playing Queen's Blood or are we just fucking around? Makes her move. It's funny that her cards don't allow her to like uh, kill her own her own cards. If that makes any sense, feels like a weird a weird build to bring, Marie. That's all I'm gonna say. Boom, and you're out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just greet a little bit. More points, and then we'll never we're not gonna play on that last tile. And it's a win! QB's too easy! We got eight minutes to go. Alright, we can beat the last motherfucker. Then we'll have all the greens for next week. Um. Or maybe just a wee bit less, Marie? You see, my dear. Even though it's my surefire ticket to victory, <laughs> I've kind of been cutting back on the booze. Do you want to know why? Why, Marie? A while back, I drank way too much, blacked out in the middle of a match. Oh shit, Lore! Full nightmare. I dreamed this creepy mm -hmm. stranger was trying to mm -hmm. chat me up, which is why this match totally doesn't count. I am still off my game. Next time, you better bet I'm gonna be sauce to the max. So watch out, Boyo. Really interesting. You all know, there's like this deep QB lore thingy happening with the weird person and stuff. And so Murray had a vision very similar to the vision that we had. That's interesting. 
All right, Vex. Hey, dude. Social anxiety. I get that. Sure, bro. Sure. I'm not gonna hold back just because you're very friendly and 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 you know and I like you as a person, though. Just letting you know, I'm gonna beat your ass, Dax. I'll play with you. All right, let's try it. Let's try it. Let's mulligan one of my security officers because I shouldn't need two of them, right? And let's go with that. Oops, sorry. Uh, yeah, let's play. It's weird that I always start, unless I'm like in like triple triad where it's always randomized who gets to play first. You know what I'm saying? Like strange. Strange way to set it up, in my opinion. Oh, I love what's happening. Uh, uh, do I, though? I could waste my Mew on the bottom row there, but that feels unsatisfying, but playing my Spearhawk leaves me open to her cleaning up one of the lanes. Him, sorry Dax, I'm assuming, I'm assuming you're he. Raise the powers, raise the oh damn, I think Dax got the same sort of deck we have, that's gonna be interesting. Alright, what do we do, what do we do, what do we do? Just use the crack drawer to, uh... oh fuck it, let's waste the Mew. Wait to see what he comes at us with, and try and lock up his- Oh, he's got the chocolate. He's got the exact same deck as I do, I feel like. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. It's gonna be interesting. Alright, so. No matter what I do, I have to know, unless I do that. Well, yeah. No! We good, we good. We can't close up the last line with that. And we're buffing up our security officer, so we're good. Perfect. Oh no, I left the... That's all right. We're still good. We're still good. Chocobo against Chocobo? What is that Spearhawk doing? Yeah, he wasted it like we wasted Mew, so I feel like... Nah, let's not be stupid. Let's not, let's not stupidly greed stuff. Fuck it, I wanna stupidly greed. I wanna do Chocobo against Chocobo and see which one of us can uh, buff him up the highest. Oh fuck, but he's got his capture working for his stupid fucking spear hole. Alright, that was a bad call. That was a bad call, but we're alright, because we can close up that lane. Get even more points on the middle one. Huh! I think Dax is gonna be the most troublesome out of all three. Or not, that was stupid, Dax. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna give him the bottom lane. Chocobo against Chocobo didn't work. Why? I'm actually gonna buff up my Chocobo some more, so maybe it will work. Because I can crystalline crab the middle range, then get Titan up there. And that gives us a 7 against 7! My Chocobo is as buffed up as is! Yay! God, I love this fucking game! Just give me, just give me Queen's Blood 7 Remake and, and that's all I'll be playing on stream forever. Fuck, this card has no ability, but interesting, interesting pawn placement. <laughs> that was even more fun than I'd imagined! I've been missing out. Prison ain't a great place to let your car down, you know? So I got into the habit of acting tough and yelling at anyone who looked at me funny. Kept me safe, but it also made good, decent people like you avoid me altogether. Even though I just wanted to play cards. I got so frustrated that no one would give me the time of day that I started to respect the 
chunky bastard. <laughs> but I've got to change myself first if I want people to talk to me. Because you had the courage to approach me when no one else did, I know. So I'm going to do it like you and ask people to play instead of waiting for them to come to me. I mean, Dax, if you feel inspired to go out and talk to people more than you were doing naturally, then, you know, that's good. But also, I'm not sure I agree with your you need to change for people to warm up to you. Fuck them if they don't like your style, bro. Fuck him. Be yourself, Dax. You know, you're a beautiful person and you were the most interesting of the three games and you had the best uh, deck built because we had the exact same and it's a cool fucking deck. So, you know, don't doubt yourself, Dax. You can do anything and fucking people who don't like your style and don't approach you just because you look cool. Fuck him. And there's the man of the hour. Thanks to your efforts, demand for Queen's Blood is back and stronger than ever. It's at an all-time high, which means my profits should be too. You did me a great favor. Take this as a token of my thanks. All right, we got Before all the weed. Go, though, I have some cards I'd highly recommend mm. for a player as Fuck yeah, system. give them to me. You won't want to miss out. Braid and wait till you get the OP cost and you can start winning by the hundred. Seriously, man? Fuck. I, I can't wait. I can't wait. I actually want to try and build a, like, make a little but pretty um, Queen's Blood board in real life. That's why it's important to shake things up once in a while. Sure. By the way, don't breathe a word about this to the folks upstairs. Unless you want to find yourself behind bars again. I got you, CC. Six is play. Pico will get sluggish if he eats too much. Yo, Billy, how Let's about you shut the game. fuck up? You know what's gonna get Pico sluggish? Walking in the fucking desert, you idiot. Fuck you, Billy. <laughs> Alright. Let's just walk up to Pico, y'all, and then we'll call it a night. How's the, um... How's the Kotro's situation looking? Is anybody streaming Ever Crisis? Is any Kotro streaming even another game so we can raid him? Here we go. Let me just switch to my face. All right, all right. Thanks all for being here tonight. Thank you guys. So many of y'all, um, you know, friends, coaches, everyone. I love it. I really appreciate the support. We're gonna get affiliate, y'all. I try and fix that uh, button thingy. But also, update type thing. Um, I might be able to stream on Sunday. In which case, we'll be playing OG. But it's not quite a given just yet. Actually, we might be playing Rebirth again. Um, I don't know, but yeah, if I can make it home in time, then we will be playing that. We'll be playing something, I don't know, some Final Fantasy VII game on our usual Sunday spot. If I don't show up, please do not be concerned or worried or whatever. It's just because I'm going away this weekend, I'm not sure I'll make it home in time. So that's, uh, you know, no cause for concern. We shall see if we can do it. And uh, as much as I'd love to do another Ever Crisis random stream before leaving for the weekend, I don't think I'll have the time, but oh, you know, you never know, you never know. Alright, nobody, no control streaming, nobody streaming another crisis, so we'll just kill it without a, uh, without a red. Just quickly check, yeah, no. Let's just get it. Um, so yeah, next stream on Sunday maybe, and I can't guarantee what we're gonna be playing. Um, Errol first, yeah, thanks, thanks Gat, thanks Gat. It's actually really, I'm just, you know, I'm going to see friends and shit, like it's not even bad Errol stuff, it's good Errol stuff. Uh, but I will still try to get home in time, I think I might, I think I might be able to, we shall see, we shall see. So anyway, thank you all for coming out tonight, I will see you around. Um, yeah, thanks a lot, thanks a lot, we did. Raiden said we didn't get out of Gold Saucer, but I say he's a body pooper and we did technically, so you know, I held my promise. I will see you all very soon, um, around. Either Sunday on here or on some other cultural stream or elsewhere, real life. Um, thank you all for being here. This is Morgan Zainan signing off. Be kind to each other, eat less animals, and play more Final Fantasy. Good night.